Hey everybody, welcome. We are missing Nate today so, and for the next two weeks. So we are doing a side quest. We went, we ran up to the dude with a little exclamation point. We clicked it. And that dude was Mike. How about that? So Mike's going to be DMing for the first time in like 15 years. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so, so we're going to pull out the Pathfinder Beginners box. because It's a great place to start for everybody. Uh, we have some people on our uh, here who have never played. Who has never played Pathfinder yet? Is it just Eric? I've never played, so okay, I cool. Think all the rest of you have at least done some of the earlier, yeah, we one shots. Yeah, we did yeah. a couple one shots where we just made them up and had fun with them and tried some stuff out. Uh, but Mike has never DM'd before uh, this game and not for any game for a while. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, let him have fun with it. We're gonna enjoy this adventure for the next probably is it two weeks? You think it might go or maybe three? I don't know. Maybe three. We'll see how it goes. Probably not. I mean, it's. It's not. It's huge. not that. To, to, so maybe just end sometime next week. That's cool. Hey, that's fine. And then and then Nate will be back, and we can get back to our our uh, previously scheduled game. So cool. Exactly. All right. So let's give a uh, warm welcome to Mike as he embraces the chaos of game mastering. Yeah. <laughs> Mike will be handling the dungeon, and I'll be handling all you drones over here on yeah. the on the little <laughs> screen. Uh, so as you buzz, buzz around the virtual board, I'll be kind of handling all that. So that's actually another first thing we're gonna do is kind of mix this up normally i'm kind of doing everything uh so I, I can i can i don't have to tell myself to do stuff so uh hopefully we'll find out how that works so this will be the first time we're splitting up the tech from the game mastering so if the maps go haywire or something happens and everything's chaos just blame me i'm doing all the, the the tech stuff so uh so with that let's hand things over to mike as he takes over the game for the next two weeks mike let's have some fun hello 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 so uh, we're going to start in Otari. Um, it's a small seaside town. It's known for its fresh fish and skilled sailors, but above all, it's a big logging town, Ooh. providing valuable wood to the nearby metropolis of Absalom. But for you, Otari is home. You grew up playing on the docks, getting lost in the nearby woods, uh, hearing the fantastical stories of travelers from faraway lands, tales of terrifying dragons and virtuous knights. Uh, such adventures always seem so distant until today. You're hanging out in the fishery. It's a local tavern uh, game place where people go and have all kinds of different uh, games of chance and card games and things like that. It's a, one of the local taverns um, and um, it's run by one Tamalee Tanderville. And I will throw up a picture of Tamalee. Uh, she's a halfling, and stereotypically, she's always happy and upbeat and and chipper. Yeah, chipper, chipper, chipper is a good word for her. <laughs> uh, except for today, as you're sitting oh, by the door no. that goes to the basement, it bursts open and Tandily rushes out and slams the door behind her and locks it. Oh, and uh she looks, she looks about, and at the table, she sees the five of you. So we're going we're gonna to describe what she sees. We'll start with Alan, since he's right here to my left. Ugh, who am I? Lover, probably. Fighter, most <laughs> definitely. But a fighter for justice. A fighter fighting to fight against the fighting foes who dwell within the shadows. I have spent my life in pursuit of these dark denizens and in pursuit of the law that will allow me to face such creatures. They call me Thaumaturge. <laughs> Some even say miracle worker. But I am no weaver of miracles. I am a defender of our city. Yes, I was once a member of the Night Watch until extenuating circumstances labeled me unfit for duty. <laughs> so now I do the one thing I was born to do, hunt monsters with this long sword, an implement of my foe's destruction and shielded by my esoteric lore. I have gathered throughout these many few years in town. I am prepared to meet these denizens of the dark, discover what weaknesses they carry and exploit those weaknesses in the name of everything divine and holy within our city. I am Barnaby A. Eskiger, 
Monster Hunter of Otari. Oh, what was that? Oh, I, I, yes, I, I, here you go, Salt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, since you're yeah. in the upper left corner. Yeah, uh, you see a very large uh, half-orc. He has uh, only recently got back uh, to town. Um, he is, his name is Corn. He has been off at uh, Magic Academy, um, where he was kicked out. But he likes to think that he dropped out because they couldn't handle what he was kind of doing over there. Yes. Uh, on his back, you see a very, very large uh, greatsword. Very good. Graham, why don't you? Svenic Blackhand, at your service. And he is a young sailor and swashbuckler whose agility and style made him an adventurer as formidable as he is gallant. His, he was a crew on board a ship owned and operated by a local government. They may or may not have engaged in what could be considered by some acts of piracy. And they may <laughs> or may not have been sanctioned to do so by said government. They disavowed any knowledge. His ship was set upon and sunk at the high, in the high seas and Venick was marooned for a time. He built a raft, set himself adrift, and after a while he was picked up and worked his way back to Oto worked his way back to Otari, where he has re-equipped himself and armed with a kopesh and flintlock pistol. He's looking for a little action. Eric, who do we see sitting next to? Oh uh, well, it's uh, just a little halfling woman. Uh, I'm Caskey Barrels. I'm uh, the head brewer over at the Tipsy Dryad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm always up to, to help other folks out, uh, whether that be through my use of uh, sorceress magic, uh, just a little bit of spice up in my cooking and my brewing. Uh, and yeah, I'm just always helping, looking to help out somebody. I'm always carrying a drink for someone. And uh, it looks like Tamily here could probably use a beer uh, from my personal stash. Let me just get that real quick. <laughs> I'll take one too. Okay, I got two, but I only got five mugs to go around. You're going to have to wash your own. I, I have my own mug here. I, you you uh, see a Barnaby has a, a, just a bunch of small little pockets and, and things and, and places, little satchels and, and things hanging all over him. Like, like, he's just, <laughs> like he's just adorned all hell. You don't know, everything seems for me from a random place and nothing seems organized. I have these thick... Eyebrows, I and and his kind of flourishing back hair with this collared uh, little collared uh, shirt. And I wear this this armor, and I I kind of reach in and I pull out out of a bag a small little shot glass like this big, and I hand it to you. I'll take three of those. Hey, you're gonna need more than one, that's for sure. Yeah, I just keep bringing them. <laughs> uh, Cas uh, has got a uh, big old paddle, um, used for mashing. Um, mashing the mash of the of the beer, um, that looks uh, old and very well worn. She's carrying like a bag of groceries and uh, just a, a satchel full of random junk. Duff. And Cameron, why don't you bring us home? So you see, come in through the door and walk up to the bar. We are in a tavern, right? This is established. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good. Yeah, walk straight up to the bar in this really slender cloak with a, an extra heavy, long, ornate cape along his left side. He, uh, he, he strolls up, holds out some coin without saying a word, holds up two with his, uh, with his hands. But you notice as looking down, there's way too many fingers and they go all the way up his arm. And the coins seemingly come from impossible places in his sleeve. He looks at you oh, with his squid-like eyes. Oh, dear. Two, please. It's a trap. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. It's a trap. As a monster hunter, I'm, I take Attack. notice. <laughs> Tamley, Tamley's taken aback just a moment from your strange visage. He has a uh, he has a spear strapped across his back. It doesn't look like it's uh, been used too much. It's it's not too worn in. Pristine metals. 
Yeah. It's, got it's that, really plain, that, really new. Like you just grabbed it off the off the rack at a blacksmith. All right. Uh the hell is that? <laughs> so Tamalee runs runs up to you. You're all sitting around. Oh my, oh my. Uh I I was going downstairs and I was getting some fish for lunch and uh it, it's gone. It's it's gone. They're all gone. I don't know what happened. Uh and she looks at the five of you. So how about you guys go take a look? Cause uh, there was like a big hole and then I heard noises and then I left because that's not me. That's why we have you guys here. How, how big of a hole was it? It's a big ass hole. How big of a lunch are we talking? Good lunch. They're known. Tamalee is known for her fish fries. Mm-hmm. I am. That's just no good. We this can't seems sell a perfect, any beer if we don't have a fish fry. This is perfect for me. A hole in the floor that leads to probable death as I hunt the denizens in the dark. I stand up, hands on hips, staring off into no particular space. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, no. Don't get all don't get too worked up. It's probably just rats, I'm sure. Uh I'm sure we probably won't even break a sweat. Uh, yeah. do you have a cat or something? Maybe they just knocked something over and uh, got into your fish. No, don't. I don't keep a cat because they'll like eat all the fish. So no, no cats. Ah, uh, these rats. The teens. It could be. Well, it, could be but it was a big ass hole. So, what say you? Uh, free drinks for a week. Free drinks for a week. You got it. <laughs> oh, somebody else making the beer for once. That'd be nice. Mm. Ah, yes. We shall fight and destroy these denizens of the dark. And I shall bring back, we bring back samples of them so that I may present them to you. Boldly I go forward. And Venick takes, we... a, takes a mug from, from a cliff on his belt and he puts it on the bar and he says, have a measure waiting for me for when we get back. Okay, then. We'll, we'll do. So she takes a key out from, you know, her jingling chain and and opens it up and then she goes there you go someone want to carry that i'm a little full right now or i uh, i guess i got it he grabs the key no she opened the door she's oh, okay she's not gonna give she's, us the key no no no, no. all right let's well, not uh, be crazy now <laughs> uh after you barnaby I'm getting a note card so I can actually write characters down here as we go. <laughs> All right. So um, as I as I need to remind myself, everybody, we have uh, we have cor- we have corn, right? Mm-hmm. And he is what? Half orc. Half orc. Half orc. Magus. 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 All right. And then we have Venick, and Venick is. That'd be me. <laughs> okay. So you're a, a what? A, what right? You're a swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. Mm-hmm. This is only for my. And then we have. Then yep. we have Ophi. Who's Ophi? Ophi. All right, you're that weird. You're weird. Weird dude. <laughs> you're the weird one of the group. And then we have Kasky. Kasky right? Burles. I'm a hillock halfling. I'm a right, sorcerer. Yeah. Halfling Sor- sorcerer. Sorcerer. Sorry. And then there's Barnaby A. Eskiger. And that's What's you. the A stand for? If it doesn't stand awesome. for ass kick, and I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What say, say my name a little slower. What is Venick? Venick is a human. Oh. Human? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, that's human. pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of the odd man out now. <laughs> okay. Um, Barnaby takes. Oh, no worries. I think Barnaby's got odd man in this group covered. All right, Barnaby takes the, uh, the, uh, uh, the lead. He steps through. He draws his longsword. Oh, careful, dear. I, and I, I, uh, I pull my cloak back a little bit, give myself a little shoulder room, all of my trinkets and, and, and uh, uh, little bits and baubles all over my, my uh, body. And I step through the door and I look around. What do I see? 
All right. So Barnaby, you're going down first. Yes. I'm going. To- I am. I am the, the obvious leader of this group as I am the monster hunter. I will take the lead. I don't know about this strange fellow. Strange fellow, what is your name? Oh, I don't know if that was your name or you're just groaning. Oh, can I actually? Wait, wait, is that all he can say? He looks over you with his weird eyes. No. (laughs) Uh, I, you, uh, you are one strange creature, my friend. I'm working on it. Uh, it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> so, Could I do like go. a sense motive on Ophi? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Ophi's a possessed or enchanted <laughs> creature by default, but as a watchful halfling, uh, I get a bonus to see that. Are you a possessed creature? Is there some sort of danger to taking you along? You're not like a warlock. It doesn't seem right? outright uh, uh, nefarious. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I basically act as bouncer for uh, my bar up the road. And uh, this guy seems totally uh, on the up and up to me. Why don't you come along and help? Seems like he'd be handy. What with the hand stuff? Hold those fingers. Mm, he, you see he kind of hides his... Uh... His hand away. But well, he, now, don't be uh, shy. He, he, Do you like beer? Stands up and starts heading towards the basement door. As, as, o- as Ovi walks walks kind of next to me because I'm standing in the doorway there. I pull out from Matt Bobbles and, and and bips in my in my little bundles. I pull out a small little it looks like a like a metal toothpick in a way, but it ends in a little tiny hook. And I take it and I touch it on your forehead. And I look at you. Noticing nothing happens, I look at the I look at it and I go, hmm, you seem okay. And I stick it back mm-hmm. in my pouch, touch my pouch. Let us proceed. So the room is um, pretty well lit. It's got some magic light going. So um, the stairs leading into the basement of the Otari fishery creak with age as you make your way downstairs to find the beast that has been eating all of the fish in the center of the room between stone pillars holding up the fishery overhead are barrels filled with salted fish. Two of these barrels have been smashed open, spilling their contents onto the floor. In the east wall is a large hole opening into the darkness. Just a few hours ago, um, um, well, not even a few hours ago, a few minutes ago, you were gathered and you came down here and she offered you free drinks for a week. Uh, she was thrilled when you agreed to help. Uh, you can't help but wonder that there might be more to this than you bargained for. This Ophi person is uh, weirding me out. I'm used to slaying creatures like this. Well, I should be slaying. Okay, I've never slayed a creature before. Well, let's be clear. I'm definitely the monster. Wait, wait you haven't. You haven't slayed a creature before? You keep talking a lot of game. I let, me don't know. let me understand. I have all of these bits and bobbles. I have a sword. I have this armor. It is, it is only a matter of time before I become legendary. I mean, I also have a sword and armor. Am I also going to be legendary, or is that just a you thing? <laughs> Mostly just me. I, 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 you can I, have all the weapons and armor you want, but have you the skill to use it? Well, you don't understand. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a monster hunter. That's what I do. I hunt monsters. Both of those games. <laughs> so you have the Could training, be. but none of the experience. Yeah. Let's. You know, I, I think we should stop focusing on on ourselves and start focusing on the mission. Yeah, Ophi. quit shaking the poor boy's uh, experience. Uh, <laughs> quit shaking his uh, confidence. Kasky stayed. Uh, Behind a, a minute to push in all the tables. Oh, geez, I keep forgetting I'm not at my own place. Hey, there I am. Want to put yourself on the steps? You're so polite. You're, so, you're just okay. so polite, Kathy. <laughs> just thought it was my own dining room for a second there. I just went into cleaning mode, you know? <laughs> well, you know, I don't actually know. I don't, I don't quite know. I don't, I, I don't have that impulse. <laughs> so uh, Barnaby walks in. He's, he's going to take a step in. 
I am going to uh, have my sword drawn. Okay. And I'm going to be observing as I walk through here. So okay. that's going to be my passive task. And Your I exploration walk. Exploration task? Yeah, my exploration task. Barnaby walks and he's going to take a scout around. Hold up, everyone. My, lo- my extensive knowledge of monster hunting has me thinking that there is a deep, dark hole on the far end. We already, Barnaby, we already knew that. They, <laughs> she told us that. <laughs> Yes, because I, as the monster hunter, knew it. So I'm going to walk forward to here and look around. Okay. Ophi, what are you going to do? Ophi will also just uh, stroll in and take a look, but he's going to, um, he's going to cast a cantrip. Uh, He's going to cast Reed Aura. Ooh. Mm. And so you want to describe what that does to me? Yes. Uh, oh, I guess it's on a target object. Never mind. I don't want to do that. I thought it was <laughs> an aura because it's got a 30 foot, but that's not <laughs> it. So never mind. I'm just going to come look around. All right. Well, uh, Corn? I'm not. I, I, ha- I still have my sword sheaths. I'm still pretty confident that this is just some... I don't know. I don't know any monsters that are just breaking in to steal fish. So he's just like looking around. I'm not too concerned at this point. Okay. <laughs> just walking up. All right, Venick, you're up. Venick loads his pistol and comes down. All right, and Kasky bringing up the rear. Um, I guess I'll. Uh, can I hop down? And are these five foot squares? Yep. It should be set up for Pathfinder. So, so how far can I move? Just up to my speed? Yeah, your I, speed is. Well, we're not we're in not, combat. We're not right in now, combat. So you can so move all the way down. Yeah. Well, Kasky's going to hop down and check out the contents of these barrels. All right. Excellent. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Stop. <laughs> Have a time. <laughs> A strange chittering comes from the hole in the wall. Suddenly, a massive rat the size of a dog emerges from the darkness, and it isn't alone. The giant's rash run rush toward you, their huge teeth snapping. Let us roll for initiative. So if you click on your character and then... Um, and then click on your initiative. Um... Nobody was stealthing, so everybody's going to just use uh, their perception. All right, so it runs forward, and it's going to try and chomp you. I, my armor class. But misses. Of course it does. It's not a very intelligent creature, so it's going to keep attacking. So its second attack, however, uh, hits a 16. That will hit me. For five piercing. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> and you hear you hear Barnaby yell, "Ah, there's rats! Get them off me!" And the third <laughs> the third attack misses terribly. <laughs> you see him, him like dancing around, like uh, <laughs> like he's just like. Ah, ah, ah. I, I think we need I, to help this guy. <laughs> the brave bo- monster hunter. Screaming and scon- uh, jumping around as these these rats come running out. So the second <laughs> he was giant so confident. Rat that's on in front of you is going to also attack you. Ooh, eighteen. That will hit. Yep. For five more po- p- five more piercing. A little better than the twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead before this this game even starts. <laughs> uh, misses terribly, and it's going to gnaw on you again. Ooh. 16? Yep. Hits you for five more piercing. Yep. I've got two hit points left. Oh. I think I'll oh. sit up in the end the rest of I the I hope night. one of us is a healer of some kind. <laughs> oh, that's and a good question. So that's... He's so brave. <laughs> All right. The next one, or the second, third one now, uh, rushes in. Do you have an attack of opportunity? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. It's going to attack corn. 
<laughs> and it Ooh. What's your armor class? 18. Okay, not a crit, so that's good. Uh, for seven points of piercing damage as its teeth. Oh. <laughs> like, get into your calf, right? It's like gnawing on your calf. Um, it moved once, and it's going to attack a second time for its third action. 21. I'm on fire. Uh, for five points of damage. <laughs> I'm also very, very hurt. Jesus. <laughs> The fourth one comes rushing in. <laughs> Just five characters. You better adjust your thing. Pathfinder, by the way, brutal. It is. Brutal. We'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. We'll come back can't tomorrow. Can't wait to. Can't wait to die down here in a basement. Guys, we need we need to run right now. I know. I'm I, I'm literally running. I'm I'm, I'm leaving this adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bigger problem in your basement. <laughs> really oh expensive. god we gotta abandon the building <laughs> we gotta just burn the whole building we're gonna burn, burn the whole it. building collapse it down <laughs> so it rushes in attacks 22 yeah 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 oh my god but but only three points of damage i used okay. to love i i have two hit points left <laughs> <laughs> we're two hit point bros yeah point bro. yeah and then misses terribly it, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> wow. All right. <sighs> All right. That first round could have gone worse. <laughs> you, talk, you talk big. You ain't talking so big now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's screaming like a, like like those cartoons where the women are jumped on the thing counters and. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, uh, so Corey, you <laughs> you are up now. <laughs> It is time to take your vengeance on these rodents. These mere rodents, the size of their unusually large size. Uh, all right. Uh, Cord is like, oh, God, I wish I was back at the academy. <laughs> and he'll attack this one in front of him. <laughs> okay. Uh, he, as, as he does so, he pulls out his great sword, and you see, like, this energy flowing through it. And he'll strike out. Uh, 14 to hit. Misses. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, uh, okay. Uh, as he, after that, he'll enter, um, Arcane Cascade. Um, this is a stance that lets him add, uh, because of my, uh, uh, background, I get, uh, plus one temporary hit points. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully nice. it's gonna do okay. Well, that'll help. <laughs> that'll help. That'll help. <laughs> and that's, uh, those are my three actions. <laughs> All right. Uh, up next, we have Ophi. Uh, so Ophi, things are, things are going terrible. You're two giant fighter people to talk big, talk to huge game. Like, oh, these are nothing. Ah, we will, we will be legendary. Legendary rat food. <laughs> so Ophi is a little startled by this, uh, but nonetheless whips out his um, his weird gross arm covered in many, many fingers. It's just fingers all the way down his arm. Mm. He reaches back around and, and all those little fingers grab the spear off of his back as he twirls it around in a really unnatural way. And then he hucks oh. it right at this dude right next to him and it goes extra uh, it's like it's like extra forceful um, because nice. he casts telekinetic projectile on the spear. Oh, nice! Twenty-one to hit. That easily hits. Uh, not a crit though. Uh, no, not a crit. Okay, eight damage. That is enough. You skewer oh, this Jesus. thing, and, it and then dies I'll use on the end of your spear. And then I'll use my last uh, my last action point to. Pull off the like my kind of blow my cloak back, revealing the rest of my body covered in weird chitinous like chunks interlaced with hands on one side. And uh. Stare at this other rat that's biting at corn, and I'm gonna try to demoralize him with my uh, with my intimidating glare. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. 
Wow, what the heck does Demoralize do? the ass thing. So do I have to do a, a intimidation roll? If you pass Demoralize, more, they become frightened. And frightened is very bad. Yeah. Yes, you uh, easily demoralize this thing. You have to beat its will, which is 13. So easily. Right. So it it cowers away from you like... Ugh. All right. Venic, you are up. Venic gracefully steps up to this point here and takes out his kopesh and starts whacking at this rat here. Ooh. And that won't hit. It's going to try again. It cowers out of the way and you miss. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. And then your second attack mm. rolled a zero. <laughs> <laughs> a zero. Ro- rolled a one, minus five. Wow. So that's. Don't you have any powers as a swashbuckler? Aren't you supposed to like get your panache and stuff panache. like that? Panache. Tumble through and do crazy things. Yeah, so have you looked oh, at your swashbuckler and saw what you had to do? Also, remember flanking is very important in Pathfinder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, for my third action, I'm going to try to pull out my three you, had, you had your three actions. You moved oh, right, my attack twice. twice. Sorry. Sorry, You're my good. bad. You're good. That's all so, we learn. Uh, I'm going to take this this time to remind you, or actually remind you, tell you, you do start each session of Pathfinder 2nd Edition with a hero point. And a hero, hero point, point allows you to re-roll. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Uh, keep that in mind. You're doing every session. Right. That's, cool. That's inspiring. That re- literally inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, round refreshes. Wait, didn't Cassie go? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, Cassie. Uh, not yet. Mm-hmm. No. Please kill them. <laughs> kill all of them, please. All right. Let's see. How <laughs> save us, Cassie. <laughs> it's your birthday. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, y'all come in and save all y'all. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> um. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh, just, uh, let me just flip through my spell list real quick here. Real quick once. Uh, which is the one that Ophi just attempted to, attempted to demoralize? demoralize? The one right, right next to corn. corn. It is demoralized, I believe. It is demoralized. You might put a little icon on it. Like... Oh, yes. Thank you. What are you gonna so I think do? he's got a minus one on pretty much all of his saves and checks. All right, well, let's just. All right, how far can I move? 25 feet. Is that just one stride action? Yep. Yep. 10, 25. Oh, would I leave? So the, those, uh... those stones are difficult to rain. It's like the this, the wall has been busted out. Okay. But those, that, those two squares are difficult to rain. They'll cost two. Two movements. Um, so it's you okay. You can still get, get here. You can still you can go, you can go 5, 10, 15, 20 is to here, right? So then I guess you'll be right here. Yeah, I can I can you go can help attack this Barnaby. One save me. You could even kip up onto that barrel if you wanted to straight ahead of you when you started. I could. If you wanted. You could jump up there. You don't have to. You're probably the same size as the barrel, like at least height-wise. <laughs> yeah, that's an action, but you'd actually be right next to it then and be able to attack it. Mm. If you want to be in Malay. If you're casting a spell, you might not want to. I don't care. <laughs> I'm um, not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just what, giving you Are options. these pillars that go to the roof? The yes, okay. those those are big, huge stone pillars. Got it. What are you casting? All right. I guess I'm going to cast uh, Shillelagh. <laughs> nice. On the uh, <laughs> brewer's paddle that I'm carrying. Uh, it becomes a plus one striking weapon <laughs> uh, as uh, vines and... Uh, knots and roots twist around this thing. It's a big magical club. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and bonk this thing over the head with it. Um, why don't you give me a quick athletics check? Sure, why not? You jump up there. That is an acrobatics. Let us try an athletics. All right. You, you like, leap across that little, uh, that nice. little platform wow. <laughs> and jump onto the casket. You cast your spell, and you can... It's a one-action spell. Um, Shillelagh is 
Looks like two action. Does okay. it, can you attack with it the round that you cast it? Sometimes you can. Um, I'm not sure. Transmutation, one minute. Yeah. Duration, one minute. Uh, it doesn't specify. Okay, but then you can't. Up. Pop it up on the screen. If you if you cast it, if you click it and it'll cast, it'll show the. This one free. Frequency constant. I'd imagine it's just kind of like a instantaneous thing. I'd look it up, but I can't spell shillelagh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good point. I'm pretty sure there's at least three different spellings of it in this. Uh, this this game and it's probably different from D and D. Shillelagh. Okay, we'll just cast is it. Is that a first level? Or is it a it's a first level. He's got it. It's up. a first level. The two action spell. It does not allow you to uh, that's okay. attack. Yeah, you did it. So not you're immediately. Up, but you're in position. Okay. okay, then in that case, um, then you're done. I'm, well, I have another action, right? Yeah, you know, it was a two action to cast a spell, and then you jumped across that. that oh, the ju- the uh, athletics movement. check was the okay. Yep, that was your action, your move action. Mm-hmm. Sweet. All right. Let's see how many of you guys do some down. <laughs> the rats. Let's do it. <laughs> I have not had a turn yet. You've not. Where are you last? Oh, Barnaby, I'm sorry, I missed you. Hey, Barnaby. Yeah. Unleash hell. I don't really do much. Get him, Don't Barnaby. Run. Be the hero you were meant to be. All right. So let's see the, how legendary you really are. So the are. first thing to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna pull out uh, I pull out from my my bits and bobbles. <laughs> I'm barely live here. I I I pull out some I pull out some wear rat pain. <laughs> a little a, a little slice of it. As that was uh, that was used by a, by a uh, by a priory that that had a bunch of rat problems and it's, uh, and got a divine entity to come in and bless this this uh, this little uh, this little uh, sprig. sprig here. Oh, that sounds I fantastic! It What's it do? I pull it out and I do an esoteric lore on this. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to try to do my esoteric lore, uh, and I have no idea how to do it on this character. So we're going to find out. So I bring this guy up. And I go to skills, I take it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to click on my esoteric lore. What do I got here? I have a 13. So I probably did not get anything from that. Um, and so if I fail, all I can do then under my esoteric lore is. Okay, so it failed. No, it's just fine. So if it failed, then all I can do is mortal weakness. After identifying a creature's weakness, or uh, I can do personal antithesis. Mm-hmm. You impose a, per- a custom weakness on the creature by focusing, fo- forcefully presenting and empowering a piece of esoteria uh, that r- repels it on an individual race. So this one particular one race is sort of all rats, it's one rat does it and what happens is i get additional damage of two plus half my level which is two so uh so that's what i'm so i did that and then i'm gonna to attack it so let me roll my attack unleash hell all right i oh, rolled nice. a 21 to hit definitely hit all right and so i'm gonna do my damage and i get to add and i get to add two on top of this damage mm-hmm. so i hit it for seven plus two more because of my personal antithesis against it which would be uh, eight or nine you skewer it it, Heck yeah. It dies. All right, and I'm going to do my second attack, which I get no benefits to because uh, I, I failed my esoteric lore check, so it was only against that one creature, not everybody. So I'm going to do my second attack against the other rat, and I roll the 15 to hit it. That's a hit. All right, so I will do normal damage against this creature. Boom, and I do 11. Oh, nice. nice. Boom. That one dies to... You're like, see, oh, look at that. I am. I, and I, and I, I look, knew I look, could do it. I look down, uh, I look down this this long shaft that I'm looking down as I drop these two. I do it like what I'm like, I look down that long tunnel. Then I, then I, then I look back and I go, I go, yes, yes, monster hunter. That's what I am. <laughs> he's bleeding it's, like out of his thigh. I, I kind of go like this. I go like this. I go, owie. <laughs> <laughs> Because you Take can't quite see there. Because it's all right. I'm done. Now we can re- refresh the round. Yeah, now the round. Old computers to him. And one lonely rat is left. 
and he's, and he's, he's intimidated for the round. He is intimidated. How long is he intimidated for? Till the beginning of your next round? Um. I, yeah, I think frightened goes away. He refreshes at the end of his next turn. At the yeah. end of his turn, yeah. So right. he'll he'll lose it after this turn. If <laughs> well, he'll live through. Yeah, he'll live his through turn. his own turn, right? Unless he wants to run into my my weapon, he's gonna give up. All right, so I have a choice between the weird squid. Oh no, it's Benek and Horn. Yeah, I have it too. So I'm gonna roll. Let's D four. One and two is corn. Three. It is Renick. It is going to attack his teeth. Uh, is your armor class, Renick? 16 is my armor class. Oh, that's good. Uh, not critical. Uh, so five Jesus. points it chomps onto your, onto your leg and bites you for five points of damage. I hope somebody has healing. It's going to attack... Yeah. Hits a 20, hits you again, but minimal. Two points of damage. Oops, that's wrong. And the third attack. Misses terribly on his last attack. So, Corn, you are up. Um, I will take my first action to reset my spell strike. And then I will attack and miss. <laughs> well, you hit 13. Is that hit? That, no, 15. That missed because I missed a 14. Oh, you would have did a ton of damage, too. Yup. <laughs> All right. And that's my turn. Okay. So is, is that two action for resetting your thing? Spell strike is two turn. Two actions. Got it. All right, cool. All right. Ophi. Can Come you, on, Ophi. You're the one you who's be... killing everything. Ophi, uh, you, you kind of see underneath the, his left side, which is still pretty covered up. You've never seen his like left arm c- completely. You kind of see some movement under there, and you see the spear kind of pull itself out, bling itself back at the the rat again for another telekinetic projectile. He does have soft cover from you, so it will be at minus two. Okay. His corn is in the way. Well... Oh. You can move if you want. Well, wait. So where's the spear? I, I hurl. I hurl the spear from its spot, which would be oh, right okay, got it. Yep. Okay, then you're fine. Next feet. That's right. That's right. All right. Awesome. So 15 hit and 10. You kill it. 10 damage. <laughs> Pin it up against the pillar. Oh, whoops. Well, it appears. That we that these creatures are indeed sinister. They have uh, most likely gone down that hole. We, sh- I think that maybe we should send corn down there. That does look more like his type of hole. He just kind um, of spits up blood. blood. I, don't- I think both of you need some bandages. I need some work. It, it didn't go as well as I I thought it was going to go. Oh God! I just thought it was some. Teens doing a trick. I didn't know it was gonna be rats. It's Ugh. gotta be rats. Why does it have to be rats? Okay. Um, well, does anybody have healing? <laughs> Nobody took uh, a healing. I know I don't. <laughs> I got a, a flask of beer for you if you want. So nobody has any healing skills at all. No, I guess not. Mm. Guess well, not. So be- it's <laughs> it's it's your one shot all over again. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> Ophi uh, holds out his hand to Barnaby and Corn, and, and two minor potions of healing kind of come down all the fingers down his arm and into his palm, and he offers them up to you. I know. We're going to go up and we'll come back tomorrow. We'll just have to do this one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think we can. we maybe board this up? And then come back tomorrow. <laughs> yep, we're not going to be able to do this. Shut it down. Can't believe Shut nobody. the store, a, health department. Took a, took a skill at healing. Uh, we really everybody did else not was like optimize. somebody else would do it because the problem is usually everybody takes the head medicine skill. So I was like, oh yeah, I, mean, I was like, ah, I'm not going to take it. I pretty much <laughs> well, I take the medicine skills. Yeah, cool. yeah but I, I can't take some, it to the next level. Yeah, 
some of them, uh, sometimes you don't get that many skills. Boy, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go up and uh, train. Uh, we're going to have to find some smaller <laughs> rats. We spend a month training a new skill yeah. of first aid. We all go, <laughs> we go, to, <laughs> we go to the Red the Cross, Cross, learn some CPR. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, let's go up and uh let's go up and tell Tamalee she's got a rat problem and we need CPR. <laughs> let's explain to Tamalee that we can't do this because none of us have healing skills. How much gold do we have to pile together to go like hire up a, a cleric <laughs> from somewhere? Uh, in town? I'm, gonna, sure. I'm gonna respect to give myself a healing skill. There's <laughs> yeah, it's level one. What, what do I not need? <laughs> I can have healing instead. Oh my god! <laughs> if some, if you guys want, to, if someone wants to respec and use something they haven't used, yeah, you can take. I, a we haven't used hardly anything, so that's true. So if, if somebody does want to take the, the healing skill, go I ahead. I feel like diplomacy is not going to go good for my squid ass, so I'll just <laughs> put that into medicine. Yeah, I don't have a very high uh, wisdom, wisdom. So, but I can take it. <clears throat> All right. I got kicked out of college. I have very bad wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I just got the good old 10. But uh, you know, Tamalee did lock the door behind you. So Oh, wonderful. She did what? <laughs> How much is that healer's kit? Because oh, I do have the door. What is happening? How much is that? Uh, so, uh, Tamalee. Kit is. Uh, let us on. Help. <laughs> healer's tools is five gold. Okay, I have eight gold left because I really haven't bought anything, so that's fine. I can. I, can I can't play. believe she locked the door. I, I think I think that might make sense for Barnaby. Uh, you'd have a full loadout, including a full like overblown trauma kit that you've never actually opened before. Yeah, and 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 that's good. Good point. All right, let me go to my skills here, and I will uh, not have what skill do I not need here? Sort of getting prepper vibes from Barnaby. <laughs> Or he's All definitely right, got uh, a bunker for sure. <laughs> sort of the have sword will travel kind of guy. <laughs> All right, let me let me look up what I get to make sure I'm doing this the right way for my character because some things I get for free, so I can't I can't remove those. Uh, yeah, okay, I can remove that. I'm gonna remove stealth. No, yeah, yeah, I'll take stealth out because I don't stealth. Nah, I'll leave that because I kind of feel like I'm, I'll lose society, even though I kind of feel like I would like to have that. I give myself medicine and then I'm going to add and that would make me uh, train in medicine. And then I'm going to add gear. I'll add a healer's kit. What's I don't see healer's kit in. Healer's oh, tool. Okay, so we respect because we don't have healing. So I respect my character, Barnaby, to now have healing. Did somebody else do that too? Or just I did too. Ophi did as well. Okay. Good so, so, I'm really going to, so I'm going to, uh, now that we Ordinary. can actually heal our, our, our party, <laughs> I'm going to uh, magically take out of one of those boxes a healer's kit, a healer's <laughs> tools, which I never knew was there. I'm like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> how did, where, this, get how did this get in here? It makes, it makes sense for a thermoturg. Uh, He's kind of a goofy guy, though. That's fine. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, I will try to do healing on myself first, I guess. No, I'll do healing on other people because that way, if I cause damage, uh, I, I will still be up to try again. So hmm. uh, I will try corn. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I will do my medicine check. And I roll oh, 15. Nailed it. 15. All right. So go ahead and roll yourself. Was it 2d8 plus what? Two or something like that? Yeah, 2d8. 2d8. So you get 2d8 back on a regular. Okay. Well, if we spend an hour doing it, it would be 4d8. No, you can only. You Just can't, 10 minutes. It, no, it's, it, you have to. You know, it's one, 10 minutes, but you can't do it again for another hour. Yeah, you can go for a harder one, a 20, yeah. to get the, the so, higher. So uh, that's fine. So you got nine back. And I'm yep. going. Who else is injured? Not the worst. That's if you succeed at your check, you can continue treating the target to grant additional healing. If you treat them for a total of one hour, they double the hit points regained. Oh, okay. So I can do We'd that. Have to spend a whole hour <laughs> patching each other up. 
you wanted to go take a like let's come back tomorrow it might yeah. not be the worst plan <laughs> that's true all right well i'll keep I hey got, i got i got you back up uh uh yeah. barnaby i'll, I'll keep you up you. yeah so i'll keep a minute ring it as you can double your hit points then for the hour and then somebody can okay ask so me, then yeah somebody has to do i roll another 2d8 or do i just uh does it say yeah. double or or uh if you succeed in a check, you continue healing a target to, to grant additional healing. If you treat it for a total of one hour, double the hit points they gain from the treat. We just double it. Okay, so then I'm back up to full for sure. All right, so somebody wanted to treat my wounds. I just did. Yes, I, I got can. a 16. All right, so uh, 2d8. So Ophi walks <laughs> over to Barnaby, and he's still only using his right hand. You, you, you still haven't seen his left hand. He's, he's very uh, deft with treating your wounds with all of his extra fingers, holding his tools and like thread for stitches. Nice. It's real creepy, but... All right, I got eleven back, yeah, and I'll double it for those. Since we're just, you're just gonna do things for me for one hour. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, so that brings us to that brings up who else is injured? I think Venick. I think, I think it was just you and me. Bad. Venick, how much damage you take? Um, yeah, I took. I, I think it took seven in total. That, oh yeah. All right, after after yeah. the one hour passed, and we've kind of healed each other. Uh, Ophi's been healing me, and and I've been uh, healing corn. Um. Then we're going to take the next time and I'm going to do another healing on uh, Venic. Before we I, can, I, can, I can do one on myself, couldn't I? Do you have yeah. healing? Are you trained in the medicine skill? I am trained in medicine, yes. Well, yeah, we just literally asked everybody if they were doing it. Go ahead. I told you, you didn't listen. <laughs> Did somebody say something? I'm going? <laughs> go ahead and heal. Oh, fine. Go, just go and heal yourself, <laughs> sailor boy. <laughs> It was maroon for roll. If I can. He roped together no. sea turtles with his <laughs> no, no. rolling <laughs> damage to yourself. Wow, sea turtles or coconuts. You want to use your hero point? I, yeah, I think I'll use my hero point. <laughs> Did you roll a four <laughs> One. on that skill check? So. Okay, that that's two critical failures I've rolled. That's my limit. <laughs> Oh, no, no. It is. That's nature. That's nature. That was nature. That was oh, nature. Sorry, nature. That's nature. Nature. You got to roll it. That was okay. Fun. Medicine fourteen. <laughs> okay, we got uh, it. Just failed. He just just failed. barely failed. Still. So after what happens is after uh, now, you'll be available again, and then I will heal you. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe he goofs it up in the first in the first hour while we're treating each other. Right. That's what we're saying. And then when oh, we're done, I'm going to heal him. And I hope I roll a one because the real bag <laughs> he slips and just like, <laughs> oh crap, I rolled a 19. You heal 2d, 2D8. So you get, oh, there you go. There we go. There, there we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> this, this is a lesson to all of Welcome you. To talk talk you guys. before you fully create all of your characters. <laughs> Well, have yeah, a brief think, conversation. Yeah. Mike was like, make a character. I'm like, okay, we all did. Now it's, um, we show up. Okay, whatever. Uh, corn. Oh, jeez. Corn. What is your armor class, Corn? 18. Oh, you're definitely going first. I have a 16. Corn. That, that believe, I believe that is your corn hole right there. <laughs> you want to go. Uh, uh, I, you I, I don't appreciate that, but I'll, I'll, I'll go. I saw what happened last time. Corn, do you have a shield? I don't have a shield. Okay. I have a two-handed greatsword. Ah. Compensating? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it at all. all right. If it's two-handed, then no. <laughs> That's all right. Got to watch out for Ophi. He's the one who's done done it. You you don't know what he's got packed on there. Yeah. He's full of like. Don't we? He's only wearing a cloak. He'll take. (laughs) So each each character gets. He'll take a spear on the wall, unpin the rat. All right. We get 80 experience points. Awesome. Cool. Ooh. All right. All right. I'll keep track of that. All right. Cool. Because once we hit 1,000, we'll we'll level up. So nice. Oh, we got 80. We're so close. Corn, look down the hole. Yeah, I'm looking ball. down. Um, do you want? Uh, I I do have a uh, low light vision. I don't know if that matters. Actually, you uh, see like... I got I got keen eyes. I got a bonus to finding things that are hidden, and I got low light vision too. Uh, gosh, where's that? So at? the light from the room flickers down, and, and you can see ten, you know, ten, fifteen feet down, and then it gets pitch black down there. Okay. Light doesn't okay, carry. I, uh, there, there are no, 
There are no light sources down there. I cast light um, on something. Uh, cast it on my sword. Uh, your sword's not. Uh, well, I guess there's not. I can not magical, walk down that it? way. No, it's not magical. Okay, well, here you go. Yeah, you can put uh, it on the sword. I cast light on Corn's sword. How long does that last for an hour? Uh, let's see here. Uh, that lasts until you, uh, next, until you next make your daily preparations. Oh, so you it lasts to, a whole day. Yeah, I can nice. have one oh. item glowing. Okay, All right, here you yeah. go. Corn, go. Uh, we'll, we'll, I I'm going to follow you. I have a lightsaber. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so the object glows, casting bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light for the next 20 feet. Disney, don't sue us. <laughs> I have uh, a uh, distinct, uh, like, it's close, but not, it's intellectually distinct lightsaber. Okay. Right. All right, um, I will start moving uh, forward. Hang on one second. Let me reveal the area. You have a light cleaver. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a non-dark. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you got? Oh, we got to reveal them some we areas. Reveal the area. Come on now. This is a real skill with this. Okay. All right. Ooh. Corn looks like we you can see it goes down some steps. How steep are yeah. steep are those? Squeezing through the hole, you find yourself in a cavern that seems to stretch endlessly beneath the streets of Otari. Who knows what menace could be lurking down here? Up ahead, the passageway ends in a cliff that plunges sharply into the darkness. Can I? I'm trained in nature. Um, <laughs> do I know if these rats are? naturally occurring do rats normally get this big and do they actually dig tunnels like this sounds like a knowledge uh yeah give me a recall, recall. knowledge recall uh, recall that's a nature uh that's just an eat well what i can tell you is that these rats were of an unusual size <laughs> I don't believe uh, it. Past that, I don't know. They might have dug this hole. They might have not. Anyone um, else have any kind of skill they want to use about that hole? Uh, I don't have. Investigation. I, I can try a recall knowledge on it. Uh, I have a lot of skill in recall. I'm knowledge. trained in. Oh, wait, no, that's that's medicine. Yeah, it's nothing to do with occultism. I have occultism. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I have that. Nice. Yeah, we Anybody have a lot have of not yet. The night is still young, though. What lords do we have? <laughs> Well, I got alcohol. I have esoteric lore. lore, which allows me to. So, esoteric lore, um, it allows me to um, get your, exper your experience with unknown as well as the tales you've cha changed with other uh, thaumaturgies have taught you about strange phenomena or, or of every kind. You become trained in esoteric lore uh, and uh, a special lore skill that can be used to recall knowledge regarding haunts, curses, and creatures of any type. Hmm. So, it's a, so, so you're it's basically a cryptid expert then. Types. You got a 23, so you got pretty good. Yeah. So, well, you don't, as you look in, at the, the rocks, right, uh, that are like pushed into the room. So obviously it came from below and pushed into the room. It came from um, below. And you see distinctive, the distinctive marks of like tools. Oh. Chipping. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't claws that that dug through here. It was something uh, burrowed in with like um, tools. Looks like an Instagram post where they'll take like the rats and they'll put it, give them little tools yeah. just so they can post it. They go, look, am I cute? They'll take like a dog and they'll put them in a like, jacket. That's what they did. I think we're gonna. I think what we're gonna look out for is we're looking for Instagram moms. Yeah. <laughs> That's what right. I think. So, but yeah, that's what you get from your esoteric lore. It's yeah, it's obviously nothing supernatural that bursts through. Okay. All you see is just basic tool marks. So, mm. and right. and the hole isn't very big. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kasky fits through just fine, but like uh, corn has a little trouble. But are you armored? I already have chain mail on. Skinny okay, dots yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of a tight squeeze to get through there. Well, he <laughs> often has a hard time squeezing through his cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> enough about the 
cornhole thing. Jeez. His behind is still intact. All right. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you guys went there. So like, I'm gonna need another beer to forget about that one. <laughs> Everybody will. All right. Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess uh, corn will like kind of shimmy through the hole uh, and get to the other side. Um, do these sta- these these look like stairs? Do they look like they are well, like? Well, it's a natural big, occurring kind of steps. It's not. What's up with this? It's not. Okay. It's, it's not uh, carved. It but doesn't look like it was like like created. Okay. Correct. Correct. Quick question: Does this is this is the left that is higher a 10 than the right? Foot drop. That's Which down. Ones? Okay, so this is the top, and this yeah, is the this bottom. Is, this is high. This is so down. these are these are yeah, the steps. And then yep. it's the, the first big wow. terrain challenge. Everybody get ready. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, at least three of us are falling on our asses. I can just, I can just see it. I have rope and a grappling hook. I'm not worried. All right, start pounding pitons into the ground. It's going to be a long climb. All right, All right. I, um, else, let's I will move walk down, and I will, I will see what I can find with, with uh, using uh, corn. Yeah. Ophi right. actually so- wants to roll a stealth and kind of try to be sneaky in the in the shadows. Okay, so. We're now in exploration mode. Um, So everyone can take a role. um, uh, Exploration or uh, stealth, avoiding notice, so to speak. Um, Searching, scouting, um, things like that. Um, You can do, uh, there's a whole. I'm going to do the one where you get the bonus for initiative, which is is like called readied. readied. I think it's called readied or something like that. So yeah, basically. What's the difference between a seek and a one of those other ones? Seek, you're looking, you're looking for hidden things. That's a, that's an action. You're looking for okay. Uh, looking so for can stuff. I, can I do that during? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yeah. All right, I get a plus two to seek. Uh, circumstance bonus to find hidden or undetected creatures within thirty feet. So nice. Keep thank you. Re- keep reminding me of that. <laughs> all right well what we see okay. that. so yep looking down this this hole uh this that's a 10 foot it's a pretty good drop um you're gonna need to make some climbing checks i have 50 feet of rope i'm not even gonna bother with the climbing checks the way that last combat went i don't trust that i'm gonna survive this climb well, you still need to make a climbing <laughs> check to go down the rope but it's not very difficult okay well i'm gonna pull out my my grappling hook hook it onto something around nearby cool and then take my 50 feet of rope and launch it down. That way we can get back up. Anyway. 40 feet of it piles down at the bottom of the line. Yeah. I was going to say, like, corn is like 6'4. Can he just like hang off it and then just kind of drop and be fine? Uh, you can give me an athletics check. All right. Grabbing a ledge is a thing. Yeah. Go for it. Athletics. 18. Not a problem. Yep. <laughs> Venick, are you going to do something cool? Oh, just flip. I'm climb down too. <laughs> you <are> 22. <laughs> do a flip. 22. So you don't have catfall yet? Um, not for any great distance yet. It's a 10 foot drop. Yep. Yeah, you would take a 1d6 yeah, I, or I, something. No, he wouldn't. He takes half because he takes half the first 10 feet, right? No, you avoid the first 10 feet or something like that yeah you avoid the first 10 feet so you would take you yeah. would just um, i mean if you want to do something cool just here's, here's your chance yeah. to flip off and he's kind of feeling a little embarrassed and humiliated right now he's not going to take any <laughs> stupid chances <laughs> oh no that's fair besides all right well then it came this down ground is just fine. too steady i'm used to being on a ship so. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's corn and Venick. Any everyone else want to make athletics checks? Well, I'm just climbing down. My- I got a 23 on my avoid notice. Um, okay. Corn corn will be like hey, uh Kasky, if you want to you want to jump, I'll catch you. Otherwise, you can just take the rope. I'm taking my rope. Uh no problem. I climb down. I sure what the heck. I jumped down. <laughs> towards uh i jumped down towards corn 
So I need Corn to give me an athletics check, and I need Caskey to give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> we. <laughs> That's a uh, seven. Um, Corn right. got a sixteen. So Caskey slips on the edge of some stone. Oh. As she's about to, as she's about to like jump off. Uh, the ledge kind of gives way, and she's gonna fall. You take <laughs> half the amount of damage. And I'll give you another half off. So you take two points of falling damage because Corn uh, does arrest your fall a little bit, but he's also encased in metal. So you kind of hit him hard. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Oh, dog. Uh, sorry. I, uh, I, was, I was really hoping to just kind of like make it easy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. It's fine. I'm sorry. It, it'll come out in the wash. Uh, <laughs> did you use the rope to climb down, by the way? No. <laughs> I, I, looked, I looked, she was gonna, gonna, gonna catch me. Uh, yeah, I said I was gonna. I, I, tech, I did technically catch you. It's just like you hit really hard. Yeah, you. Well, like, I'm a uh, little heavier than I look. <laughs> she, it's all the beer you see. It's kind of solid. <laughs> I look at my rope that's hanging from the grapple hook in pristine condition. And usually <laughs> once with only one person of going on rope, and I just shake my head, and I'm like, I, I just think to myself, well. As the monster hunter, I'm apparently the only smart one here. Ophi will, will grab your rope and he'll, he just kind of holds his, all of his fingers, lower him down. Oh. And now I'm second guessing the rope use because now this slimy thing <laughs> is used. It's a, yeah, do you, are you yeah. all covered is in it wet? Slimy? Are you wet? Are you like seepy? He's not slimy. He's, just, okay. he's, he's like a snake. He's like a Cronenberg like body horror nightmare. Not very fun to look at. I'm, I'm getting when really I think Cronenberg, I do think slimy. I'm getting real like <laughs> I guess that's fair. No, there's no like <laughs> drool or anything. Right, when you fine. get down at the bottom, Ophi, Ophi, I'm going to look over at you and I'll be like, I'll be like, you can keep that rope. <laughs> <laughs> that's your rope now. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have a I have a what what is your official race that you are? I am a flesh warp. Flesh warp, okay. So uh yeah, apparently I have some prejudice against those creatures. That's I, I have a right. lot of, I have to educate. A lot myself. of people do. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Well, flesh warper. Uh we're going to go down. Um who who has the low, uh, corn? What are you seeing? Ooh. Yeah. Like I'm more moving steps. forward. More steps. Mm. More steps. Nothing. Uh nothing. Um, um I will be um from here on, I'm going to start stealthing up. Um, not very well. I rolled an eight. Uh, but I will move up to here, like that corner. So here's the thing. You don't make a roll um, until you're... Um, you're going to use your stealth to roll initiative. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be yeah. stealthing you're just, up You're just to taking there. the avoid notice action. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to make a roll. Um, but I'll... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, I will, on the other hand, uh, t- with my greatness, sword in hand, um, donning my, my implement of destruction, I will walk down behind him. Okay. I am seeking and destroy. Or no, I am uh, detect. What do they call it? Detecting when you're, when you're readying? Readying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're not seeking. Per yeah, se. I'm, I'll look that up while you're talking. Here. Yes. All right. Very good. <clears throat> I think you're scouting, Alan. So as as you as the tunnel continues deeper underground, eventually opening into a large chamber, this one has patches of glowing blue fungus that cling cling to the ceiling and provide a dim light. You can just barely make out vast strands of webbing across the floor and walls of this cavern. Oh, here we go. Stretching between stalactites like shimmering curtains. All right. So let me reveal the room here real quick. Well, we all know there's a spider here. Cool. So who is doing what? Well, I see this. I see this thing, and I'll, I'll come up behind corn, and I'll. Ooh, geez, that actually looks really kind of sinister. This map <laughs> is kind of cool. All right, I'm um, yeah. step up to. Um, I'm going to seek around uh, for that uh, spider that's probably hiding amongst all those those uh, barbs and whatever they call the uh, uh, webs. All right. Uh, why don't you give me a seek? All right. Seek is perception. Mm-hmm. 
Right, I'll we'll perceive. Since you're gonna let me do it, I got a, I got a fifteen. You're not, you're not seeing anything, but also your light doesn't go all the way into the room. I'll look over at Corn and say, uh, my my monster hunting uh, senses are tingling. It tells me that there's something in here, but I don't know where it is. Uh, you should probably go and investigate. <laughs> and Caskey try a seek too. What? <clears throat> you were uh, you were just so ready to get into combat before. What's what's going on now? You seem to want me to jump right in. Uh, well, as the as the top monster hunter here, I have to under, you have to understand that um, <clears throat> we have to all take our roles, and your heavily armored body is perfect to protect me. You specifically. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. All right. Well, all right. You know, I uh, think you, well, I'm I'm standing next to you. If somebody else was standing next to you, you'd protect them instead of me. <clears throat> all right. I I get uh okay. Uh so I'll uh start moving in. I'll get to here. Try to he's trying to look around. Can he do a, like a perception just to kind of like see everything around here? So there's <clears throat> webs everywhere, right? Anywhere, any square that has a web in it is difficult to rain. Oh, okay. okay. Just so you know. even if there's like part of it, yep. or is it? okay. If the web is okay. touching the square, it's difficult to rain. All right. Um, um, and there's even there's actually webbing everywhere but the thick strands that cause it to be um difficult terrain are, are primarily where those big strands are right okay Benick is saying to himself it's just like rigging i can do this okay so it looks like I, i'm gonna take a guess here looks like it can go east and west i'm kind of metagaming here because it looks like the big map that that this side is kind of this side is kind of coming to the edge of the map a little bit more robust. A little yeah. bit of metagaming here. But so I'm thinking this can either be a pass that goes straight up along the side, or this can kind of be two gotta check all the corners for treasure. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Feels like a bar me thing to do. All right. Um hmm. is there a way to maybe like cut down these webs or is it just like way too thick you can uh it'll it'll take some doing but yeah they're they're pretty thick okay and spider webbing is notoriously durable mm -hmm. <laughs> especially when it's this thick like some of those remember, are like uh... the size of your wrist okay so it's it's kind of like frodo and like shelob's lair where it's just like it's just <laughs> like yeah. You got it. You yep. got it. All right. Um all right. Uh guys, which which uh I don't I, I can't particularly see far enough which way do we want to go, left or right? Which way do you want to go? <laughs> Up or down? Can I um what if we just burned all this stuff out of the way real quick? Can wait, you can do that? Oh, well, I can try. I don't know if um Produce flame cantrips going to be able to do that, but I sure can try. Otherwise, we've got can, uh, um, materials to start a fire somewhere. I, I mean, it's it's worth a shot, right? I I think it's probably the best idea. All right. Um, let me just look. See, I guess if it was uh. D and D, I'd be looking for whether or not it says it burns objects, but could somebody hold a torch to it? I suppose I got one of those too. Um, I mean, converse. I could use my uh, I can channel produce flame through my sword and attack the web. Is that what you? Is that what you do? Yeah, I am going to. Uh... No, wait, no, no, hold on. No, hold on <laughs> just a sec. This doesn't seem quite right. Um, can I take a look at these webs? Maybe roll a nature check, see if I know what kind of webbing this is. 
If it's like a spider will jump on you as like soon a... as you touch it. <laughs> well, I just need to look at it. Did you ever see arachnophobia? Right? <laughs> oh my god! I love that movie. <laughs> my mom showed me that movie when I was way too young. <laughs> I recall spider lore for twenty three nature. <laughs> recall spider lore. All right. Yeah. Um. All right. You uh, is obviously a big ass spider that's making webs this big, right? Oh yeah. Um, and <clears throat> uh, you obviously know they have a poison. Um, and you know that they are not going to have any problem whatsoever moving in this chamber. So maybe right. going in there is a bad idea. Hey, I've got an idea. Could I try to lure something as long as we're standing here, not stuck in the web right now? So looking at it, you don't think that it's all that sticky. Uh, it's it's kind of old. Uh, it's just difficult. It, it's like, you know, well, real me... ropey. It's like climbing like a rope. You ever seen those rope ladders? Those are those rope nets. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Hmm, It'd be kind of like that. Hey, anybody have any rope? Uh, Thank you, Travers. Mine. A room full of fishing nets. <laughs> you just gave <laughs> you just gave uh, Ophi some rope, right? <laughs> yeah, Ophi, you have some rope. <laughs> well, he, he left it. You left it. That's fine. Tied up, right? It's still hanging on the on the. Okay. Um, I'm assuming we want to leave it there in case we want to climb out, right? That was the point so that we could get out of here uh, in case something chases us. I have more rope. Do you need it? Well, Ophi, what I want to do is I want to check these. Mm -hmm. I want to check the the. This thing seems we get stuck to it. If we can just climb through and then and we don't get stuck, then who cares? So I don't care if it's difficult terrain. I just don't want to go in there and get stuck. Because if we're restrained, and it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> can Ophi cast a cantrip? Sorry? I want to cast a ghost sound. If I step step in front of Barnaby, I'm at, am I on the rope uh, ropes yet? <clears throat> give me just give me a quick acrobatics check to like just stay away from the, the major ones. You're right on the corner of one, so. Might be a. Just oh, move. that's fine. All right. Roll, <sighs> roll for initiative. Oh, my God. Is that so? Ah, that's... beans. <laughs> the good thing is that Ka so, Kas Kasky is, is in front of us. So you're like, you're like trying to get by and you just barely brush that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, fine. Uh, let, I wonder if I can cast the spell anyways. I suppose that just depends on initiative. Select. So I'm going to use that 23. All right. Looks like I'm going to go last. Can you edit mine to be that 23 or I'll take the 16? You, can, you should be able to edit yourself. Can I? Edit Where are you? List? Oh, cool. Nice. Let's just sort it. All right. Are we missing someone? Who are we missing? Five. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Drew, Drew, so I just had to scroll up. Time, I right? just had to scroll up. All right. All right. Uh, Ophi, you see Kasky like thrum that thing, and you know something's going to happen. You feel it. Rolling initiative really gave it away. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Immediately, I will. Uh, just try to do a, like a seek. Is that what it is? Just try to mm -hmm. spot it. What is that perception? I do have low light vision, yes. Okay. Um, is that perception? Yeah, seek is perception roll, I believe. Yep, perception. Perception roll. Okay, 18. All right, just, yeah, just, cool. just enough. <laughs> uh, Reveal more of the map here. Oh boy. Just throw a lot of webs. Oh Jesus. You, who, okay, so who wanted to go to the right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking it was going to go like a, a, a I guess tunnel. I, I made a wrong decision. Uh, I'm a monster hunter, not a not a navigator. <laughs> I kill it. I don't need to find it. It'll find me. So that's a weird looking spider. Okay. All right. Well. Um, you find it. What are you gonna do? 
Hopefully. Yep, you find it. It's it's you can see it, right? <laughs> I can't see it. He's the only one who well, has yeah, to do a point I mean, out. Yeah, you can take an action to point it out. Because the rest of us. But it isn't right but it is an action. Uh because you're basically like point it's it's right up there, you know. That kind of deal. Yeah. I will do I will do that. I'll just I'll point it out to everybody. It's okay. in the back corner and then I'll and I'll um I'll just use my last action to move up a little bit. Okay. Now this thing is up. This is like up in the corner of the cavern. So it's it's kind of up. Up in the ceiling. Mm-hmm. It says forty five feet away. So, all right, but that's it. I, I got my move. I spotted it. Let everybody know. All right. All right. It's over here. So that's Ovi <laughs> Kasky. You are up. Um. So I bumped up against this thing. Um. I suppose there's no way I could hide here. In order to hide, I would have to stride to somewhere better, right? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see here. And in order to hide, you have to have cover from it. Okay. Right. They so can't you- have direct line of sight. Yeah. So could <laughs> I... Well, also with your 23 you know it knows anything touching the web anywhere yeah um, it can feel the tremors ooh got to got to walk without rhythm here um, yeah you're very good <laughs> all right what are you going to do that might walk without rhythm might be under acro i'm not even trained in that um probably wouldn't help anyway <laughs> i'm gonna Shahalud. Shahalud. That's my that's my distance here. Remember that it is difficult terrain. Alright, I'm actually gonna uh, stride back a little <laughs> bit. Good plan. <laughs> and from here cast ghost sound at a point here. Okay. Uh and I'm going to do my best, uh impression of a stuck rat squealing uh, i can create a volume up up to about four humans shouting but not like intelligible words or intricate sounds but i just want to make a, a panicked rat squeak okay uh and i'm going to try to sustain that i don't know if that's like a concentration but the cantrip has a sustained duration sustain means you take one action every round to sustain the spell so not yep. next round you get two actions and then one action you see can sustain Set Sweet. Three so I start ghost sound of the sound of a rat here. Okay. Draw it out. Nice. The very funny, like the the sound of four normal human shouting. And I think Kasky just whispers, "Wait, wait, see if it goes." All right. All right. Uh, that's Kasky. That's all you're doing. Yeah, that's a that stride in a cantrip. Oh, nice. So the reactions. So now it is the giant spider's turn. So it moves out to here, and it's going to launch a web bolt. A web bolt? Web, well, yeah, uh, like a, a bolt. web. Oh, like a glob of a glob of web. Oh uh, yeah. And oh, he does a thwip. So it hits a nineteen armor class. Boom. Uh, uh, and it's going. Oh, I was going to roll for that. Let's see who does it hit? It's going Thanks, to exactly. actually hit Venic. All right. Oh. And <clears throat> you are a creature struck by the giant webs web strike. It's stuck to the nearest surface. It can't move until you success- successfully escape. The DC 17. So that's an action you take. You can use athletics or acrobatics, I believe, to escape. Okay. Uh, That'll be on my turn. <laughs> and it's going to shoot again because it gets one more. 
Let me make sure that. Is that a two action deal or a one action deal? It's just a strike. It's a ranged strike. Okay. Is that considered a flourish? No. Trying to help myself out. I I, I hear you. No. (laughs) We we need the help. Giant ass spider. I would too. All right. I just have to roll a 20 minus five plus seven. Come on. All right. So 17, it's going to be. Barnaby or corn? One or two? Let's see. Probably, probably uh, corn. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. It is actually Appreciate Bar- it. Barnaby. I hit, well, wait. I yeah, hit uh, 17. You would, if you would have hit a uh, corn, you would have missed, and that would have been a better. <laughs> see, see you, you, you said no corn, and, and I was like, no. It, it, besides, you, you, fine. Yes, it hits me. All right. So you are both stuck until you make a DC 17 thing, and I will put a little webby on me. Uh, no, there's a web. I've seen. Yeah, you can. Oops. Sticky icky. Sticky icky. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. No, you don't. Right here. I web myself. Did you? All okay. right. <laughs> I'm the all right. web uh, myself. That's, that's all it does. That's It's, it's up. All right, all right, this thing's um, spurt. Who's next? Corn, you are up. Uh, geez. It is about 20 feet up in the webbing. Yeah, it's, uh, well, okay. So I could make it if I go here with the difficult terrain. It's 20 feet up though. Oh, it's 20 feet up in the air. Up in the well, up, up in the web, but yeah, up in the web. You can uh, okay, climb. um, you can climb up there and go at it. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, I'm that, up that's there. That's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do it as soon as I'm out of this row. Is this, this mining? Uh, okay. Let's so so how, how, how far up do I need to move to start climbing up? Um, to like right here, where the web right there. Starts. Okay, so I will. Okay, move to there. It's like about 15 feet up. Yeah, okay, unlike so corn. there. And then um, he's 20 feet in the air? 15. 15, okay. So I guess technically second move is up into the air. And can I attack him from this angle or do I need to move one more up? No, you can attack from that angle here. All right. Um, However, give me uh, give me an athletics check. This is really hard to climb up. Okay. Come on, big money. Come on, come on. It's, it's not structured like a, a net or something. Thirteen. So, you're kind of kind of trapped in the web. Not trapped God. per se, but I mean, it's hard going. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I'd say you don't quite make it up to him. All right. Um, you can take your third action to keep climbing. Yeah, I guess third action, I will move up more just so I can have other people get in there, and I'll move up to there. Okay. Uh, do you do you want another uh, athletics check just for yes, next please. round? Okay. Nine. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. Okay, and that are that's the my three actions. You got it. That is Venic. Okay, so I'll take my first my first action to try and get out of there. So in athletics, mm-hmm. or uh, acrobatics. Athletics is better. Okay, so twenty four. Oh, Not a problem. Nice. Okay, so that's one action. You okay. slither out of the. Uh, well, fuck. Mm-hmm. At that point, you break the bond. You just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot. Yep. Uh, Use my <laughs> flintlock pistol. And oh, natural twenty. Okay. Oh, then it, oh. The- <laughs> oh wow. Okay. One. I hear the gunshot go off. Like, but- <laughs> and it will also do an extra d4. That's so funny. Critical damage for one? Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. But you double it, right? Yeah, you double it. Yeah, so he gets two. <laughs> two and points of damage. Two plus a D4. Yeah. yeah, so you get another D4. Oh, God. Yeah. 
and and my uh, this is so and bad. my dexterity bonus. So it's seven more points. <laughs> and for my you third don't action, add your dexterity re- bonus to damage. Unless oh no, it's I guess you don't. Special? Yep. No, just two d four. No, I don't know why I got. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why I got in there. I'll recheck that. But um, but yeah, another four points of damage, and Those I'll use my third action. Use my third action to reload. You got it. The best six points ever. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! This this massive right, explosion to, echoes through the chamber. What do I have to do to break free? Uh, DC 17. I want Check. to break free. All right, here we go. Uh, athletics, you said? Mm, or acrobatics, whichever. Um, athletics is better. I'm going to try it best. Just made it. Ooh. Nice. All right. All right, and uh, I'm going to then do esoteric lore on this creature. That's my next thing I'm going to do. Esoteric. I don't have to be. I don't even know if I have to be in melee with it. It doesn't I don't say. I think so. I think you just have to see. It. Once per round. Okay. Uh, we'll, well, I'll confirm for next week. We'll just but see. Yeah. I'll, I'll look. I, I, I didn't set my anything about it. All right. So <laughs> esoteric lore of this thing. I rolled a 20. Nice. All right. Versus okay. the monster's base yep, DC. You got it. You got it. All right. And then uh, I'm going to move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm on the ground still. I'm, I'm, I'm on the ground floor. Okay. I'm going to uh, move back five feet because it was difficult terrain when, when you started here. Oh, so back up five feet? Yep. Okay. All right. That's where I go to. All right. Uh, uh, uh. And it's, you know, it's it's like trying to, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you get it. I'm trying to get up there. I get it. The massive corn bravely going up toe to toe with the giant spider. Uh, that was the end I, of the I would round. say stupidly. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Uh, round refreshes. Ophi, you are up. Ophi will run up to here with his spear and kind of give it a running throw charge it with the telekinetic projectile you're the weirdest of all time nice like a little weird (laughs) 22 to hit six damage piercing easily hits and that's my turn it's hurt is is ophi a sexy redhead you're hot. You're hot. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about your race, so Depends maybe he's kind of his. He, he kind of covers a lot of his head, but his head looked kind of extra weird and long. Sure. Kasky is up. Can you? Okay. Feel? It's looking rough. Oh, I like. Well, rough. there's no point in uh, keeping this uh, rat sound going, I guess. Um, I'm gonna. I mean, that was a really forward. good idea. Don't get me wrong, but. Eh. So we try stuff with the fails. It's you know, it ties. I think I, I think best case we could have got Ophi to uh, shake the shake the web on the other side of the room with his uh, psychic stuff. But uh, hey, you know this might uh, work just as good. I'm gonna produce flame. Uh, am I wait? Am I even within thirty feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're twenty feet up off the ground, but so I might need to get a little closer. You could I'm probably go here, and that's feet only away. 10 feet of movement. I'll, uh, I'll do that. I've str- uh, strided 10 feet, 20 feet through difficult terrain, 30. I'll go over this way. Okay. Um, and I'll cast a Produce Flame up at the spider. Or maybe at the... No, just at the spider. Pew! Bring the webs from around it. <sighs> yeah, All I right. figure it might be helpful. Ten. Ten to hit something. Uh, you know, it's it's in the web. You miss. It kind of it kind of hits the web, and it, this web smolders a little bit, but doesn't ignite. Could I just turn to the webs above me and just do a melee produce flame on it? You can, but it didn't look like it did much damage to the webs. Oh, oh! Just it claim a one action by a class. Yeah. Oh, that is also a two. Never mind. Never mind then. Okay, cool. That was the Bruce flame. That's that's my turn. All right. Oof. 
I was hoping you'd kill it. <laughs> we were all hoping. <laughs> you weren't the only one. Because now corn was very hoping corn, that you would kill it. Corn, you know, decided to sacrifice himself and give him up himself for uh, uh, lunch. So it's going to. Oh, but it misses on its first attack. Yes. Uh, and now it's got a minus five usually, or my, yep. uh, most of the time. So you have an eighteen uh, armor class, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. It's going to try again. 19. On his second ah. attack? Bad. I yeah. Um, yeah, no, I can't do that yet. The reactions? Uh, I do have... The shield block? I do... I don't, I, I'm not holding a shield, but I do have arcane tattoos that I can use the shield spell with. I'm just confused on if I can use it in as a reaction kind of a thing. Probably nope. not, unless it says specifically. Exactly. So you cast the shield spell. It's kind of like, it's not like yeah. It's like I use an spell. action to do that. It's not like a reaction to do a thing. Yeah. It gives you the reaction of shield block when you yep. when you do have it though. When you do have it, it's yep. like raising exactly. It's a so magic I, I could have used it, but I was out of actions at that moment. That's all right. Uh, but it does hit you for seven points of piercing damage, and I need you okay. to give me oh, poison. <laughs> uh, a DC 16 fortitude save. You want to get this. <laughs> yeah, I can do this. <laughs> 14. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to tell Tamalee here, I mean... We, Free drinks for a month. We, we like, need, yeah, like a year. Way, way more. Like this creep. Just, how big is this spider? This is a, it's like large or is it? No, it's it's. Well, it's, it's large for a spider. But is this just a tavern, or I think we we've earned ourselves a, a room and board for a month. <laughs> yeah. Uh only five points of poison damage. So, is that persistent or anything? Um, All right. No, but you are. F- flat-footed till the end of your next round. Oh, is that like your, as a result? Right, I will put that on. You're like, uh, you feel it. You feel the poison curse in you, and you're you're like a little woozy from it. All right. And that was oh, two attacks. It is going to move on its third. All right, so it, it moves away up into the thing. Is it still up in the air? It looks mm-hmm. like there's any... Well, all right. This is up. I'm never going to reach this thing. All right. <clears throat> oh, it's Korn's turn again? Is he is he's next? Yeah. Okay, Korn, I, I do, you're up. It am, moves. Uh, okay. Uh, do I need to move to hit it, or can I hit it from this angle? You can hit it. It's within reach. It didn't move. It moved away from the people, like, coming up to it but right. you're lunch i mean you're woozy so yeah i'm not feeling great uh all right um let's give it a Wait. shot oh 26 to hit uh 16 points of slashing Damn. max damage plus another five wow. points of fire damage nice you kill it how'd you get to fire damage spell uh strike. because i went into spell strike that's cool that's awesome. Yeah. I like that. All right. I'm picturing your where your fight your sword hitting like launching flame at it. Does it actually yeah, cast exactly. a spell through your, through like, your... Yep. You stab yeah. this, you stab it deep into it and then your flame ignites and you cook this thing from the inside. The smell of cooked spider wafts through this ca- that cavern. Oh, that Does almost... not smell as good as an nice burger. Probably yeah. not. No. S- smells no. bad. <laughs> With All right. the right, with oh, the right man. seasonings, though, I don't know. You could do something. Hey, uh, Kasky, uh, can you see anything over there? Is there like, I, I wonder if this thing. I mean, every chamber I've ever been in with a spider has a has a, has like, um, like a like a chest in it or something. We've got to have something. Or so, somebody wrapped up with some gold in their pockets or something. Yeah, there's got to be something. There's always something. Weird. Um, I'll look for uh, quest hooks that we have to dig out here. Uh, let me. You can drop out of. You can drop out of combat. All right. By the way, uh, Barnaby uh, is going to cut a small piece of this uh, webbing off and stick it in a little pocket. Another esoteric 
charm. Oh, well, that was a pretty neat sword you had up there, Corn. Uh, Barnaby, does yours do something similar, or is it like ice or thunder? You got a fancy one, right? I do. You don't understand. I use my esoteric knowledge to to look deep into the heart of the monster. And when the heart of the monster, when I look deep into it, it looks deep into me. And together we bond to each other and it fears me and it will feel my wrath and whatever weaknesses it has. Um, Corn looks at Barnaby and he's like, I don't know about all that, but uh, uh, those losers at the academy didn't like that I was uh, slashing and uh, attacking all my, uh, my cohorts. So they, uh, quote unquote, <laughs> kicked me out uh i long before then i decided to leave i i just don't think they understood what i was trying to do well it's a good I thing i'm not your cohort then uh let's i don't want to be slashed we'll let we'll let the monsters be your cohorts we're gonna search the area all right what do i need to do to search uh perception checks whoever's whoever's i am for sure i am for sure i'm, I'm, up I'm over there. there uh i am for sure i'm up and search the spider's nest Ooh, Definitely. I roll a 20. Bar- okay. Barnaby. Oh, a- See if anybody beats nice. It. What's that, a perception? Okay, I got a nine. Uh, you see a faint purple aura go around the spear that Ophi hooked, and it floats gently back over and straps itself onto his back. Wow. As he's looking around. 20 That's is the winner. So you find uh, tucked up in a corner, kind of shoved away. Sure enough, uh, a bundled cocoon of, of webbing around a, some kind of creature. All right, I will cut the creature free and hope maybe it's still alive. I'll, I'll kind of take it with care. No, it's not. It's okay. dead. I'll Super open dead. it up. Bones and dried skin. So it's it's been up here for a bit. Oh, but so so here's the thing. Whatever was whatever came through here to open up that pit has to clearly know how to get around these spiders. So whatever, whoever it is, has got to be maybe like a, maybe the spiders are pet or something. All right. What do I see inside this? Um, as you kind of dig through it, kind of open up the, the, the casing, uh, you find a short sword. Um, it's mm-hmm. very fine craftsmanship and it has a emerald in the pommel, small emerald. It's very, it's very nice and ornate. Is this magical? I'll ask everybody else. Is that all we find? And you also find tucked in like a, like a pouch, uh, a potion. Oh. Uh, Ophi holds his hand out for the sword and he goes, may I? Of course you can. I'll, I'll, I'll walk, walk over to you, hand out, hand you the sword and I'll uh, present <laughs> it to you. Uh, he will take it with his many fingers and he will cast read aura focus on target object, opening my mind to perceive magical auras. When the casting is complete, I know whether or not the item is magical. If it is, I learned the school of magic. It is not. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, the potion. This however. is hmm. just a nice sword. The, the potion is magical. Not, not, it's not like an infuse. Er, because not, infusions are not magical, right? I forget. I think that they are not magical. I don't remember. Well, it says healing potion. So okay. I don't know if it has magic. All or right. Not, but... Great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that potion and I'm gonna go healing potion. It is it is a pretty standard uh, item. All right. Healing and healing potions are very very. Uh, do we think that this emerald pummeled sword is worth anything? I mean, does it look nice? Can we do like someone want to give me a? a... Uh, a lore? What kind of knowledge would we need? I have uh, a crafting check. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Craft it up. Craft it 14. up. Fourteen. You think it's fourteen? Hmm, four or five gold pieces, maybe. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, that's not what bad. do we need for a plus one weapon? Is it? Is it? How much is the plus one? Thirty, ruin? I think. Thirty. Okay. Yeah, magic yeah. is pretty reasonable. <laughs> Hey, uh, like D and D is four hundred thousand. It's a plus one sword. That's for old school. <laughs> yeah, I know. Though. All right. Um. All right. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, so right. very good. Very good. I've got to move over to this area, and oh, I don't need a light though. I guess Corn's gonna have to come over here. Corn's got his, his lightsaber. Hey. Yeah, I got my lightsaber out. Um. Uh, hey, uh, Barnaby, that that potion. Yeah, I mean, like, it was one of uh, it was a healing one, right? Yes, it was. We want me to 
heal you. I can, I can perhaps give you some uh, healing. I, I have still some skills left since I respect. Well, I, I you know, I, I don't want to presume. It's just, about, um, I kind of went up arts? and fought it like one-to-one, -one, like right in its face. And it, it hit me pretty hard. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Well, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> well, now that I respect, I'm going to give you some healing. All right. It was very disrespectful go. before. You know, and for, <laughs> for boldly going up, like just climbing up a spider's, web, a spider's here, web, I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a, a hero point for that. Hey, I yes. know throw it. Yeah. I'm the one who's healing him. All right, <laughs> yeah. it's true. You that deserve was, one too. You got it. That was pretty. Sometimes heroic. Barnaby back talks God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you a uh, skill since it's, since it's been over, I've maintained for an hour and now it's. Uh, get some healing in here. Where is medicine? Uh, here we go. Let's see if I get it. Oh, crap. I didn't get it. Sorry. No healing from that. Hey, you know, uh, I thank you for trying. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, well, thanks. just remember, you were almost healed by the monster hunter. All right. Um... <laughs> you were almost healed. Right. Ophi will offer you a, a minor po a potion of minor healing if you want. Ophi. I don't think that's going to work. He's he, what did you just say? You had your occupation was me. Yeah, you were a swordsman, right? He it, knows uh, nothing yeah. about mining. <laughs> oh, for, for the, for the minor Bar potion. Barnaby, you you're the best of us, but I don't know if you know what you're saying right now. I know that. You're injured, and I'm the monster hunter. That's all we need to know. And I give it a little kind of like a slap in the back of your shoulder. Well, you might as well go first, baby. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right there. Give me, give me like a second here. Uh, and he's like under his with Offy. Offy, if you could just hand me that real quick. Hands it out, and it slides down his arm with all the fingers, and then the cork telekinetically pops out for you. Oh, that's gross. It'll be very weird, but thank you very much. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go, guys. <laughs> if uh, if uh, you don't want to go first, I can always make something else glow. Oh no, no, no! I'm I'm ready to go. It's just uh, you know, uh, I, I I just had a, a quick second. I needed to do something real quick. Uh, me and Offy, real quick conversation. Well, of course, of course. Yeah, let's real let's keep heart going. To heart. <laughs> exactly exactly let's keep going boys <laughs> so you you rest up a little bit <laughs> yeah little heal. Uh, yeah i'll take that uh that potion <laughs> um what does the the light potion give me d8 d8 okay perfect <clears throat> one <laughs> 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 all right so no as worries you, as you move oh, into the uh the, i'm assuming you're going up this up this thing your light illuminates yeah Mm -hmm. is there um light up ahead uh no the fungus is uh was just in the the spider room okay but your your glowing sword illuminates the area quite well looks like there's a uh, uh like a door up there a barricade something barricade. Uh oh okay okay right. um that was probably to keep the spiders out that's uh, there after, you go. I knew there's a reason why. After the web-infested cave, the passageway leads deeper underneath the streets of Otari. It appears to be mostly natural, but someone or something has worked to open the cavern and level out the floor, making the passage easily traveled. A crude barricade made from old wooden planks and part of a barrel blocks the entrance to a side tunnel, while the main passage continues off into the gloom. Uh. Uh, corn corn's gonna turn to cask and usually who is working this hard to steal some fish I this don't seems know. wild heck they got that kind of work ethic they could have a job at my place <laughs> i did hear that the fish and chips were quite good <laughs> can i it's seek known for any hidden enemies how good those fish and chips are nice 
And that's that, that's a nearby town, right? The big one. Yep. That's the yeah. center at the center at the, the city at the center of everything. Yeah. Uh, whatever it's called. Cool. It's, it's the big, big, it big the, metropolis. It has the, the same gem that becomes the, the in Starfinder becomes. The, yeah. Oh yeah. Absalom station. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's well, that city. <laughs> the whole, the whole cut, the whole planet blows, blows up. up or leaves or something. And it's all that's left is the Absalom station. All right. All right. That's well, crazy. um, corn, if you're injured, I'm going to, I'll step forward. Look oh, around. Could I, could I seek for hidden hidden enemies? By the way, forty XP for the spider. Okay. Ooh. Boom. We're sitting at one hundred twenty. One hundred twenty XP. Tack it up. Go up. So oh, oh, I finally got an eighteen. What are we, what are we doing? I stepped down and stepped into the room and looked okay. around. Um, like I said, you see this this barricade. It reaches all the way up to the ceiling so it completely blocks the path can i see through it is it no, like or a solid it's, wall it's okay. solid you cannot see it. can i break it um you could break it um but then i have to buy it well yeah all right <laughs> so why don't you give me a perception check real okay. quick percepting percepting Let's see what i can percept i percept at a 17 all right you hear some clattering from the um from behind the barricade, I, like I got a RB eighteen on my perception. Does that help? You hear it as well. Did you go up to the? Yeah, you're up there. Yeah, yeah you I'm hear like some kind of clattering. Hidden enemies. All right, what? It, I mean, so you you, is this you room, haven't you haven't been quiet with Mister Flintlock pistol blowing away? Is this, oh, no, is this all, are these all walls or just not been revealed yet? Oh, sorry. Just want to know because I was under. I didn't know if this was a dead end or what. My bad. Yeah, I can also step in if we need the light from my sword to like expose it. Is that better? At least to hear. Okay. So, does it? Is that a door though? This this. It's not a door. It's it's a, like a barricade. So anybody wall. coming through there would have to break it down themselves or whatever, mm -hmm. right? All right. Well, let's not worry about it yet. There's obviously you to keep something out or to keep something in. There's chittering or something inside, right? Clattering. Mm -hmm. Clattering. Clattering. Distinctly metallic. Um. It's kind of faint, but maybe somebody's like digging through stuff, like they're stealing stuff. Yeah, it could be scrabbling. Yeah, it could be kind of some kind of digging. Okay, uh, the clattering of bones. Corn, bring your light source over here. Let's see what's down here. All right, bring uh, your light here. We'll see what's down the tunnel. Let's see what's let's see what's going on. All right. Let me get the polygon reveal out. Now, now, Ophi, the back door will slide open and you're going to get killed. <laughs> I hold my dueling cape, which is the, the big thing draped around my left towards it. Eight dire rats come raise my ace rushing through. <laughs> you have like a little rat door, like a little doggy door. <laughs> There's a normal size and an unusual size rat door in here. Leads further on down. Oh, it keeps going. All right. Well, I say we go down to like maybe here and check it out. Yeah. You want to come down with let's, me, Corey? Uh, let's do it. I mean, you could right break here. the barricade. It's not. It's not. Well, I don't want to. It's not like the, solid dwarven stonework. I don't but... want to break the barricade and everything come down that from the other. I don't want sure. things coming. No, way. I'm just letting you know that yeah. it's, it is not like high quality dwarven <laughs> craftsmanship so it's i'm a i'm a kind of moment i think i think we're okay i think we're okay <laughs> so 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 barnaby's a go with the flow kind of monster right. runner. he's just gonna flow where that's the least resistance that's right <laughs> take me to my monsters so that i may destroy them and corn's kind of realizing Bar barnaby did pretty good in that fight where versus rats after the, the first attack. So he's like, ah, hmm. this guy seems to know what after he's doing. The initial, after the initial. Don't worry, my friend. I'll protect you. Thank from you. Right I, I'm I, right behind you. Wait, you're, 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 you're going to protect me from behind, though, right? Yeah. Right behind me? Uh, that's it, exactly what I said. All right. Oh, thank um, God. Ooh, now we got two. This thing we had two choices. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna stealth. I'm gonna stealth. Go okay. to stealth mode. You are in stealth mode. I suppose yeah. I'll stealth. Wait, well, I think uh, I think I will as well. Let's try to stealth up. 
Sheath Sorry. your glowing sword. I'm gonna look around the corner. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't think I can stealth with a glowing sword. Oh yeah, I suppose well, if I you can see what you have I'm, with that. I suppose I'll if you have a scabbard, off. you could hide it. I'm like, stay there, stay there. Okay. Or is I'll, it just I'll, a big great sword you have strapped on your back? <laughs> no scabbard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and I could just so it. that there's a wall there uh, or a ledge, right? Um. And it's ten feet off the ground. Wait, wait. You see, this is ten feet up off the ground. Yeah, this, this. Okay, uh, both ways. Uh, no, just right up here. It's like it's like a ledge above, uh, and you can barely make out. Like a, if you're looking and you kind of lean back, you can see what looks like the top of doors. So that those are wooden doors. Ten feet. You up. can see up there. Ten feet up. They're ten feet up. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I'm I'm confused here. Okay, so this is a ledge. This is the right. ledge going up. All right, I'm a, I'm going to I'm I completely my my mental capacity didn't sorry calculate that, that was an edge. So I'm going to climb up that edge. Um, could I could I for all of them? I'm pretty tall. Could I do like I I hoist them up by my hands? You can assist. Yeah, you can you give like the assist aid them. Action? How does the how does that work in this game? So, <clears throat> go ahead and give me an athletics check. Okay. Yeah, you can aid him. He gets a he gets a plus two to his check. So nineteen. All right. I I'll walk up help. here and I'll look at these doors. Um, can I search for? I, I I guess I'm gonna search these doors. Okay. They are. They look very very old, uh, but they are just solid wooden doors. Um, I can't search. Can I search for traps? How do we search for traps? Um, I forget perception or maybe thievery. I gotta look here. Uh, maybe it is thievery. Pick a lock, disable device. I think it's just perception. Probably search for traps. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably to remove them, I have to need need some skills. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to perceptify once again. All right. Here we go. I got a 23. Nice. All right. You don't really. Yeah. You don't find anything. Just some old dusty doors. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to. Uh, I'll I'll yell down to uh, Venic. I'm going to open the doors up. Be ready. And I'm going to push What's these. What's that? Door- okay. I'm going to push these doors open. Okay, let me reveal it real quick. <laughs> I'm waiting for that the, the the missile just to come flying out. Get launched, hit, hit me, do 2d6 damage, and throw me down here to do another six, 1d6. <laughs> That's what I do when I, if I was DMing. Ooh. Oh, oh, it made a shrine to me. Okay, actually, um, <laughs> I'll let you guys know. I do, I have, I, I watched Ronald the Rules or play this room, so I know the puzzle that's in there, so I'm gonna refrain from answering. All right. The ancient wooden door creaks open on rusty hinges, revealing a ruined chamber. That's what you see. Mold and rot stain every surface. Very moist in here. On the far Rolls. side of the room is a stone statue of a giant squid, its tentacles reaching towards an altar in the center of the chamber. The scum covers almost everything, but it hasn't touched the silver bowl sitting atop the stone altar. Hmm. What do you do? Uh. Well, I, I will go in here and I'll do a search just in general, just to see what I can find. If there's anything more that I'm missing. Okay. I'll come in as well. Go ahead and give me a check. Perception. Yep, please. 23. Can right. It's great roll, but I can't roll an issue. Nice. Um, you don't really find anything except for that bowl. Um, it's a silver bowl. Is so it attached it, or can I take it? I don't know. Do you pick it up? But you do see that it's filled with water that's perfectly clear. Okay. Uh, Venic, did you make a check to get up there? Yeah, I, I rolled a 21. Perfect. For that earlier. All right. What else? Sorry, was, I don't, I don't, can't see. That. What else? So, what do I, what, what is on either side of the wall? Oh, a 20. It's it's an altar. Uh, if somebody wants to give me a uh, a check, oh, <laughs> and that twenty to get up. 
Yes. Okay, so the rest of the party. Yeah, I think everybody got us. Yeah, I've been getting. I c I'll do an occultism check. Oh, this is interesting. I'll step up to the the statue and admire it, and okay. it's beautiful. That's a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Depiction. Oh, so were you? Uh, this... Did you always have the the arm stuff going on, Ophi? Seventeen. Or... Were you no. like one of those guys when you? Um, or more like no, uh, more like, like one them. of me or one of Venick? You don't. Uh... It's not. <laughs> it's not Cthulhu. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's, um, you don't think it's a cult in kind of nature, possibly religious? This doesn't seem, um, especially sinister. Does anybody else, uh, dabble in the divine? Have a religion skill? Hmm. Another uh, blind can, spot of the use, party. What can you use untrained? Just recall knowledge? Sure, I've probably heard a few things. Um, it's just a knowledge check on religion. Maybe I've heard something as a bartender. It's possible you might have heard uh, of some kind of story. Whoop. Eight. Ooh, no. I guess not. Usually when somebody comes in talking about cults or uh, weird uh, squid gods, I just give them more booze until they uh, stop making sense. <laughs> or start making sense? Or, or start making sense. Or just Born. stop talking and fall asleep. That's usually Born, my Or do you favorite. still have the vial to the potion that you drank? Uh, uh yeah, I didn't. I, oh. I, uh, I didn't leave it. Um, here, he, here you go, and he hands you the vial. I, I go up to the silver bowl and um, using my telekinetic mage hand, I dip the vial into the water. Okay. Um, as you as you kind of put your hand into the water, the bowl slightly shifts, so it's not attached to the. It's okay. not attached to the the altar. The energy from my brain. Let's put all the mold all over the walls. Yeah, that's weird. Is that going to be another nature check? this like dangerous mold should we not be breathing this stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> you can give me a nature check okay um that's gonna be a 12. <laughs> um you're not sure i mean like i said it's really moist down here mold grows in moisture dark it is pitch black it is unlit in here so mm. Uh, can I just poke my head out the door? Was there mold elsewhere in this tunnel? No. Hmm. That's really weird. Hey, can we just like... I got a bad feeling. I'm not 100% sure. Could we... Are these doors open? Could we keep them open? Uh, they're open unless somebody shut them. They didn't shut on their own. Okay, uh, I got... I'm carrying a... a, a uh, a shovel I use for uh, scooping the mash uh, and moving hops. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick that in the door. <laughs> okay. I got a I got a bad feeling about this. I don't. I feel like maybe we're gonna need to get out of here in a hurry. Ophi takes that vial of the water from the bowl and uses mage hand to dump it over the statue. See if anything happens. Um. No, nothing. Just yeah. Statue's, statue's wet. <laughs> Yeah, no, still wet. I think it was wet before. Yeah, no, it uh it's very, it looked very a little wet before, but uh it was good it was a good, you know, chance something would happen. You looked thirsty. <laughs> I How big do you think that ball bowl is? Could I use press to digit digitation to warm it? To warm it, you can. Yeah, why not? It's, I cook it. It's, I boil uh, the water with my magic. You know, it's probably I don't know if you can see this, but this big. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
It's a good size. Hmm. Maybe a foot and a half. Oh, so well, that might be pretty a, big. A pretty big over a pound, but yeah. Oh, I could affect larger uh, objects if I concentrate on it. And as you're kind of looking it over, the bowl is solid silver. Oh, that looks really nice. And it has it has etchings on it, but you failed your religion check, so you're not kind of kind of sure what that is. Um. Well, why is it full of water? It's concerning. I don't know. Who filled it with water? How long has this water been here? Looks pretty clean and clear. Okay, you notice that the water has been replaced that you took out. Oh. Oh, the water came back, huh? Oh, dear. I float it with Mage Hand. And dump the whole thing out and then write it again. The bowl of water? Okay. And, you know, as as you're looking at it, it slowly fills back up with with water. Wow, this looks... I'm looking around at the walls. Um, I'm going to make a divine check against this god. What do I think this this god is? Do you do a uh, religion? Yeah, a religion check. Are you trained in it? I am trained in religion. Perfect. Do it, do it. I have a 21. Oh, perfect. Yes, you got it. So uh, it is the god, uh, Gazre, god of nature and the fury of the ocean. So do I, I think, think that it's, the, it's a shrine I, dedicated to Gozre? Do you think that Gozre is, uh, is, uh, is he a good god or is he, is he a Gozarian? Gozar, the Gozarian. Um, well, you got a feeling that it's a dual nature god where uh it is the you know it is the fury of the ocean so uh it it honors the destructive power uh, potential of the ocean might i recommend we put a pin in this unless we need something about this we'll come back to it i don't see this as being anything to do with monster hunting and Mm -hmm. might i remind you that i am indeed a monster hunter well, well, do you want to take this magical wet bowl? Well, this certainly seems strange. It's not a... I mean, uh, looking, skinning the ceiling, there's no entrance here, is there? Nope. There's no, like... Okay, so I mean, the only way into see, this... You know, nothing that you uh, see. Can the I only way a, into this creepy place was yeah. this could basement. Can I do a knowledge society? Uh, like, it, it, is this god, like... Uh, revered in this area of the world um with uh barnaby barnaby right yeah barnaby the, uh... with barnaby's role he's like yeah it's you know you know you you pay homage to it to uh have him avoid notice right you're like please ignore me okay kind of kind of thing okay uh, but it's you know the wind in the way he's the he's the sailor, he's the one that the sailor god mm-hmm. I, like uh uh and we are on i the, guess that's kind of goes beyond uh what was asked of us we kind of uh killed everything in here i don't uh this seems weird i don't know why this is here but it doesn't have anything to do with us getting beer for a year no but maybe I you gotta give a little to get a little, you know? Sometimes gods can be that way. Uh, I pull out a water skin. I crack it open. It's full of okay. beer. I pour beer in the bowl. You pour Here you beer. go, uh, go, Gozra. Uh, try not to um, uh, uh, flood us in here, uh, would you? Uh, I don't know if you're a beer guy, but if you're listening, uh, protect us in our in our little coastal city here. You, you watch as the beer changes into looks like pure water. Venick is just going to take his fingertip and just touch the water with it. Okay. Your, water, your finger is wet. Mm-hmm. He's going to take a little a little bit in his hand and drink it. Perfect. Give me, does it taste like, give me does a it DC taste like 20. Beer? You die. <laughs> DC 20 However, roll a D8. Uh-oh. Are you injured at all? 
A little bit. Okay. Roll a d8. Oh, I can roll a d8. Okay. You roll a two. You roll, roll two. A d6. Sorry. So you heal two right. points. You roll a d6. You have to roll a d8. Yeah, d8. Oh, oh, we rolled an eight. All right. You are. You feel the water like. You feel it come down and, and like, you feel a cool, refreshing wave, kind of course through your body, and you are, you are rejuvenated, Ooh. and it's wonderful. However, I do need you to make a DC twenty fortitude save. Okay. Seventeen. Okay. Uh -oh. As you, as 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 you feel it refreshing you, uh, you you f suddenly feel your stomach just churn, like the mm -hmm. ocean's waves are crashing through your stomach. Uh, it makes you feel sick. And for the next hour, you take a minus one status penalty to all D twenty rolls, your armor class, your spell DCs until the hour has passed. Oh no! Okay. Oh, jeez! <laughs> but you are healed. Mm -hmm. I, I I saw this one on the Ronald's rules. So for the in in an hour, that will be a small price to pay. Yeah, you feel better. My you damage is ran in no time. And as as you as you, you know, you set the bowl back down, or you know, as you cup it and whatever, the water slowly fills back up. Yeah, I'm not drinking mm -hmm. that. Um, can I jump across this gorge here? It's it's not a gorge per se. It's just it goes back down. It's a step. Well, it, oh, yeah, this is not that back up. This is up again, right? Yeah, this is you got to make a climb check to get down the ten feet. Well, wait, but where where Ophi is? Ophi, move, please. Like right there is what I'm. Yeah, isn't this high yeah. at the same height as this? No, it goes down. It's like steps. Oh, down. I thought they were. It I keeps they were both it's, up. No, it keeps going down. Okay, well I'll climb down then. Yeah, Venick will use his cat fall and jump down. <laughs> I'll jump on top of Venick. <laughs> since they, he's got cat fall. Do you have, do you have cat jump on top of Barnaby and Venick. No one wants to drink. <laughs> Ophelia falls. <laughs> Nobody right. else wants to drink. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even injured right now. And besides that, I'm going to make my climb check. Uh, is, Corn's is not anybody... interested in drinking like some sort of weird eldritch gods <laughs> water. Uh, I, I could try to make it safer if somebody needs some healing. I think we're doing fine. Okay. okay. Let's see the word. Well, clean it up I'm a sailor. You. I have done some service it, to the sea god already. Seems, it seems a little dangerous. I I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's let's keep. Uh, where's corn? He has the light, so he needs to go first. He needs to go down, yep. climb down. Excuse, that. excuse me. Uh, par pardon me. Excuse me. Just, just let me just. All right. There we go. Gasky, did you uh, make your climb check? I don't. Uh, to get back down. A twenty. Perfect. You are down. All right. Let me just. As you. <clears throat> Come to the top of the stairs or steps or whatever. All right. So these things, they're kind of, everything seems to kind of roll steadily being going downhill. Yep. Yep. It doesn't go up and down. Okay. okay. So, uh, let me get this like our whole back. adventure, we've steadily been going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this whole adventure is going downhill. I mean, all uh, right. Realistically, <laughs> I had this horrible feeling that that. Uh, bowl was going to just start filling with water and the and door was going to slam shut and it was going to drown us. Yeah, I, so I, I, I wanted I, to try to stop the doors from shutting us in. That's very old school and really bad for a big... I'm kind of thinking it's a beginner module. They're probably not going to do something like that. Uh, maybe it's metagaming a little know. bit, but... Okay. You never know. Yeah. I, I made my check. Why'd you put me back up there? Who did that? I didn't. Whoever did is... I guess that was me. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So, how are you moving down this? This. What are they? Is are they just steps? They're just steps. It's just yeah. yeah corn, is there light corn coming down here? first? Is there light um, there is no light. He's probably around here. All right. You just okay. go get there. All right. I'll be right, All right. Him. Stop. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> collaborate and listen. You guys. Yeah. I remember there are humanoid creatures down here. Oops. But this is clearly this thing. We were using probably, tools. It's probably not from the same creatures that are coming to attack us. This seems like it's older. Yeah, that seemed like it was there for a while. Yeah. All right. Ooh, the map opened up. Yep. Hang on. Yeah, it's gonna. Ah, sorry, Barnaby, I moved you. Where were you? I'm right. 
I'm wherever the safest spot is in the map. <laughs> Barnaby is back in, in the bar, room. actually. <laughs> Get out there. Oh, 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 oh. I'm seeing some. So it looks like this is where they, this is where they, there's a cage of some sort. Something. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I don't oh, like that. I don't I like that. Uh, no. We use, we you use can stop. Them. We use them and, um, no, you please know, stop. One shot. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta stop. Guys. The Emerald Aegis, we, we ran into them. They were the fishing creatures. <clears throat> this large room looks like it was once a storeroom for a building above. At the far side, you could make out what might have been a cage or a cell at some point, but it is now full of crates and barrels. Four lizard-like creatures the size of human children are clustered around the door to the cell, trying to pry it open. You don't believe they've noticed you. Uh, I think they are just children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're just human there. children. <laughs> human children with lizard masks on. They're... They're, they work for the Denver airport. Still deservedly need to die. Let's get them. Uh, if somebody Maybe. wants to give me a society check. Uh, I can do that. I got society. Probably the person in front there. Corn. I am in front. I'm trained in society. Since we're not, since we're not doing secret roles, it's it's probably not as important. But uh, I do... that's an eight, so not much better. <laughs> uh, you're not quite sure what these creatures are. I, I specifically have the dubious knowledge role. Uh, oh, okay. But I do as well. Doing, <laughs> we're not doing secret right now. It doesn't do much, but in the future, we'll that's okay. All right. Yeah, I do as well. Thanks for letting me know. I can. <laughs> All right. Yeah, all right. I got an eight society, so uh, I don't think I know what these things are at all. Could. Could Kasky see these guys and try a society check from where she's at? Uh, where are you at? Way in the back? Um, a little tough. <clears throat> well, uh, you can. Of course, now they're noticing that a light just bloomed into the room. Yeah. So I'd make your check, and then we're going to roll for each. <laughs> Got it. Uh... Yeah, all right. If I get high and then oh nope, that's only an eleven. <laughs> that's more like it. Uh all right, come on, corn. What do we got? Woo. This uh feeling pretty it. sharp today. Uh oh wait, I use stealth. I gotta change it to perception. <clears throat> Even worse. All right. <laughs> Oof duh. <laughs> all right you're sitting there you're all like staring at these like, what the hell are these things what is it what is it and then the they're like that and they're like they're like like picking at this at this lock on this door or whatever and then all of a sudden they kind of they look around and it's light right and they're creatures of in the darkness because they didn't have any light and they turn around and they they rah! and however um sort this properly. They do not go first. Ophi and Venek, you can choose who goes first. I guess I think or, wait. I think that's a I think that's me. Yeah, mine didn't come in. Cassie's got a perceive. 23. Oh well, okay. <laughs> now you crit on the 23. It's a perception on initiative, so we'll use perception to do initiative. At this point, yeah, there's nothing. It's the that's same the thing, yeah, right now. So I'll take the 23 again. That's so. Fine. Wait, now, now we've got a three-way tie. Hmm. What, what do we do there? I He's have got the highest deck. 14 decks. You guys can choose who goes first. I got 12 decks. I want to go first because, uh, spoiler alert, I want to cast charm. Okay, I'll go third. All right. <sighs> I guess Caskey's going first. Uh, well. Actually, the cobalts go before you. Oh. Quick devils. So, do you really want to give up your initiative? Uh, n no. For Ophi and Venic? Oh, yeah. Uh, what? How did I get a 19 in the... Oh. 
It didn't send my 23, that's what. Oh, you probably didn't click your character. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't selected. Just type it in is there. That, is that roll public yeah, up just, there? Yeah, just yeah, type it in. Okay. No, it's... <laughs> Love that three of us. Boom, boom, boom. 23. Pretty good. These are on it. All right. Except these guys are faster than so, that. Uh, well, not now. Kasky's going first. And you're going to cast a spell. All right. I'm going to stride forward. Uh, hands out. No armor, nothing. Just, uh, hey there, I'm Kasky Burles. Hey, you look like you need a little bit of help there. Um, I'm going to cast I'm going to cast charm on the closest one. Uh, they're going to have to make a will save. Uh, let's see. Attempt a will save with a plus four bonus if you or your allies recently did a hostile thing to it. I don't think we have done a hostile thing to them yet. Um, but yeah, my DC is 13. Ooh, sorry. It made it save. <laughs> oh, crap. Are you up in front? <laughs> yeah, you jumped up. <laughs> yeah, you are. I had to see However, that. However, there's two other people that go before. Yeah, it's before good. they do. So. Hopefully, they jump in front. Uh, so <laughs> you you come up and and it kind of looks at you weird, and then snarls. I don't suppose you thought that was a, a different harmless spell. Should have offered him a beer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so that's Kasky. Yep. Venick or Ofi, whoever wants to go first. Go for it. I'll, oh, you want to go first? No, go for it. Okay. He's going to tumble in using his panache. I tumble for you. And with you a kopesh, go for it. You have to this tumble through here. to get your panache. You have, to, you have mm -hmm. to tumble through to get panache. Yeah. What's my penalty for my checks right now? What? Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Okay. So an acrobatics you then. forward, your stomach is kind of sloshing, you know, yep. when you oh. like drink too much milk or whatever. So it's a 17. With the and minus one. It's against their reflex. So you f fail. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. It's, uh, the reflex is 17, so. Yeah, okay. that, and then you fail. Well, yep. no, because no, he made it their reflex, it. so he beats it. It makes it. Or is it. that the case here? Yeah. In, in yeah, you have, to, you have to make their, you have to get their, that is the score. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then you make it. Okay. That's the target number. So we'll... you have to be like over here. To like yeah. tumble through their space, so, so you're basically here? You're okay. basically you like from here cartwheel over to them. here, mm -hmm. and you're like ta-da! <laughs> now what okay. happens when he gets panache? Panache, uh, it what happens my when you get panache, Graham? I get a plus five to my speed. Okay, your speed. movement goes up by five. Yep, you get access to uh, flourishes. Yeah, mm -hmm. finishers actually there, but they're yeah flourishes. finishers. Yeah. Um, Ooh. So you still well, take you just move. Swipe at him. So. Mm -hmm. How far did they move? How far did he move? Okay. Uh, I, I I imagine an eight isn't gonna hit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it would be a seven. Right. Dude. You're gonna get surrounded and crushed. Like okay. Me. And I got one more action. Oh. Whoa. Serious tail. <laughs> this is the second time attack. you've rolled a zero. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Zero to hit. Ophi? Ophi will... Well, that shouldn't do that. No. You have a minus five. You roll the one, oh. plus four, minus five. <laughs> Zero. You have Ekinkar. <laughs> you have no, Ekinkar. hey. Ekinkar rolls negative. He doesn't roll zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no, I don't know why so, it's coming up like that. There's something wrong here. What's the, what? What's wrong? Well, it shouldn't come up to zero. Yeah, you should. rolled a one, and, and then, then you add four, and then you're minus five because it's your second attack. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough then. So yeah, cr critical. There's all more right. to think about than I'm thinking about. <laughs> That's all right. It's, it's, it's not easy. New. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ophi, what are you gonna do? Ophi runs forward, and uh, finally this time, his he's gonna kind of brush back his cape on his left side. <laughs> And uh, he's got just five long tentacles 
hanging out that are kind of spun up into a weird arm. And he points it out at them and, and they kind of extend forward. He casts Grim Tendril. Oh, nice. Shouldn't should they be five, two. five tickles then? Because there was only five. five. T- <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit him with my five tickles. My no, five he's tickles. got tentacles. You don't want to see where the other five are. Okay, good max damage. Um, so they have Here to do go. a DC, DC 10. It's on, oh, wait, should it be 10 or should it be my DC? What does it say? Um, 10 seems like a low DC. Are you sure that it's adding things? Yeah, what do you? What does it say? For, what spell are you doing? It says Angels of Darkness yeah. curl out from your fingertips and race through the air. You deal 2d4 negative damage and one persistent bleed damage to living creatures in the line. So you Did have, you uh, you're going to get those two that are right DC? in front there? Yeah. I'm assuming. And, it, and it's like a st- standard save? Uh, I guess it's standard, but my spell save is 17. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, each creature, each living creature must. Are you trained? Check if I you're probably, trained. I am yeah, trained. I probably didn't import the spell correctly. I'll be right back. No, okay. you, you got to go into your spell tab and look at spell DC. You have to set it to your spell casting mod and then add your proficiency. Oh, yeah, you're probably. It looks like it's uh, still I see. At missed. I did the same thing. So what is it? Seventeen. Yes. Gosh, I would hope your 17. spell DC is better than mine. So they need to make a DC 17 fortitude save. Uh, first one fails. Second, both they both nice. fail. Uh, actually, no the critical first one has a critical failure. Ooh. Yeah, so he takes double damage. Takes double. So, damage. You roll your. So it's four. So he'll take eight, eight negative damage, and he'll take two persistent bleed. And the other guy will take four negative damage and one persistent bleed. Nice. Give him like red dots or something. Yep. Bleeding. Um, are well, one still of them alive? dies. The dies. first one, the, the crit dies. Uh, why? And then he pulls his tentacles back in and tries to like. He doesn't have time to pull his his dueling cape back over. Why can't I select you? So? Ovi, oh, you're just gross. real weird. <laughs> real strange. <laughs> Gosh, you could probably carry a lot of glasses at once with those, huh? Want a job in my bar? <laughs> <laughs> He's just kind yeah, of. I mean, with the right uh, with the right attitude, people will look right past your looks. And bleeding is on the end of their turn. Yeah, they. they and then they make a DC 15 flat check yeah. to end the persistent. And I think damage. all persistent effects last uh, are on the end of their turn. Yep. All right, so m- gross, disgusting display of particular <laughs> horror uh, comes out. Uh, and that, I believe, is it, right? That's all you got? I all I got for turn. this turn, yep. Yeah. Where is my... Oh, there it is. I'm way in the back. I'm good right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the Cobalt Warriors... Oh, Vanek. <laughs> this one's gonna move to here, and then these both are going to attack, and they get sneak attack because he uh, Vanek is now flat footed. You have a minus one. Oh, I'll wait till he. No. Can you select flat footed as a condition in the? Box? I think so. Yeah, if you're. You yeah, it lowers your AC by two. Well, this one's going to step forward and 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 attack you for uh, attacking and killing his friend. He has a spear. So. Me too. Uh, oof. Uh, attacks miserably, <laughs> <clears throat> and then it has hurried retreat. So. It runs, and it's going to run to here after taking my attack at you. <clears throat> and the other two are going to bitch slap then it. I don't think I have any good reactions to use yet. Yeah, do you have a attack of opportunity? No, I don't. Not yet. Venic has an up. Uh, 
possibility too if he has one. I know swashbucklers can get them at higher levels, but I don't think they get one at first level. That's like a thing you can get specifically through feats. Yeah, fighters... there is a few different ways to attack yeah. for opportunity. Oops, never mind that one. Monks yeah. have it's it's pretty hard to find to get that. Yeah. Monks do have good one though that also yeah, come do. with like stop movement and like Yeah. You know, Later still. on, you can throw a throw a maneuver in there so you can try to grapple or something. Yeah, that's why All they're right. so strong. Monks are great. I'm excited for my, the monk. Yeah, it's monks cool. are awesome in two E. Uh, so, Venic, these two are flanking you, so you are now flat footed to their attacks. So they get a plus three because you're at minus one, right? Indeed, I am. And one of the, the other things with the panache is that I get a plus one circumstance bonus. So that pretty much cancels out the minus one. Okay. So nice. you're at minus two, technically, then. Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, but the first one is a miss. Uh, but it's going to attack again because he's got you flanked. So, wow. You guys are getting lucky. Um, oh, yeah. He's deflecting him. In a really piratey so, fashion. <laughs> this one is also going to do its hurried retreat and it's going to skitter back. Cowards. But actually, he's going to skitter back after <laughs> an attacks. <laughs> nope. You don't get to do that. This one's just attacking <laughs> without flat footed. <laughs> You can't split your actions like that. Uh, he attacks twice and fails as well. And he's going to hurry away. So they they, they all They're jump in. Scatter. Scatter. Fair enough. Yeah. Go away. And that is the Cobalt's Barnaby. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Kicking ass, taking names since Let's see um, earlier this evening. Five, ten, <laughs> fifteen is to here. Almost uh, eaten by a rat, Barnaby. <laughs> uh, what is this? Is this difficult terrain? Yes. Okay, so fifteen. So I can't. Well, I guess that's five, ten, fifty. I guess twenty-five is fine. And then I'm going to now uh, do my. Um, this is the thing I do. Exploit vulnerability on him. I'm going to try to do that. Okay. And uh, it requires me to do a recall knowledge using my lore. Come on. Let's we'll see what happens when you like, uh, super succeed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, there so, you go. So I succeeded. Definitely so did. that means that he is now. Uh, so what do I know about him? Do we, does he have any vulnerabilities? With well, technically what it says is if I succeed, um, you, learn you recall an, an important fact about the creature learning its highest weakness. Does he have any weaknesses? No weaknesses. I guess I just impose a custom weakness, which is going to be equal to. But you get two extra damage. Yeah, two oh, no. plus, well, two plus one half my level. So it's two. You round down, so yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, um, let's see. So I'm going to, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna do some attack on here. All right, so I will do my, I have one attack on him that left here. So I'm gonna hit my longsword. I rolled a 19 to hit. Oh, I easily hit some. Sweet. So now I'm gonna do this damage, but I get to add two to it. So I did 13 plus two. It goes down. It's actually, yeah. You skewer it. So this guy is dead, right? Like yeah. 13. Okay. Didn't I put an X on him? No, that's fine. It's really hard to remember all that stuff. Okay. Right. You still have one action left, I think. No, I don't. You don't? I recall. Oh, you moved. I, it. I moved it. Recall all right. Well done. Hunted a monster. Corn. And I am a monster hunter. <laughs> Orn is going up. to uh, run up to here and do a 
spell strike. Um, which one do I want to do? Uh, let's do that one. Yeah. All right. Um, 16 to hit. Uh, that just hits. All right. Uh, 19 points damage, four of Dang. that being fire. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, dead. What's up above us? Uh, is there a wall ahead of, up on top of that room where a corn is? I'm assuming there's a wall there. How do you get a 16 on that attack? Or a 15? D12? Nice. Yeah, D12 and then, yeah. Strength. Uh, and strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, my main... My main uh, I'm not like most spellcasters with a Magus. My main thing yeah. is either I do strength or dex. Yep. Nice. Very good. That's awesome. There, there's a door there. Okay. There's a door there. And there's a door. then there's one dude left, huh? There's one dude left. We'll call, we'll give him a surrender. I'm going to yell to him to surrender. <laughs> yeah. Put your weapons down or we will run you through. I repeat we that are, in draconic. But we are monster hunters. You know, draconic. No draconic. What? Cool. Yeah. Do you just comment? Do you just... Yeah, yell yeah, in and, and comment. I don't know any other languages. Oh. I don't think I have any languages. I don't. Do I get languages? I don't say that myself. You get it. languages. You get one plus, I think, ancestry plus one per intelligence. Thing, oh, I think yeah. that's fine. Well, no, yeah, I was just saying for now. I don't know any. I don't. I yell at them in, in comments. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, it doesn't appear to understand what you're saying. Well, so it's round die. refreshes, Kasky, you are up. All right. Um, I might try the same. Do you speak draconic? Awesome thing. I don't speak draconic. <laughs> but ah. I'm going to try that did it anyway. Okay. So I'm going to step up to it, wield my brewer's paddle menacingly, and say, okay, you and your friends are making a great mess at this bar. I'm going to have to ask you to leave right up that way, or I'm going to eat this right here. Wait, wait. The brewer's paddle. Why don't you put the paddle here? You're not Hold on, you're like cutting it. off. I can't hear anything you're saying. I'm just <laughs> peeking the mic, I suppose. Um, <laughs> And yeah, no, I'm basically just going to get as um, loud as I can. Uh, They get a plus. uh, I I know they'll get a bonus. It'll be harder because we don't share a language. But intimidation, demoralize. uh, Intimidation check against the targets will DC. I don't know what that is, but here's an intimidation. Oh, it's going to go really bad, (laughs) actually. (laughs) <laughs> it's not yep. very scared of you. No. Oh, you're like actually like taller than me, aren't you? <laughs> About the same size, actually. About the same size. Whoa. Normally, I'd have to get one of the bigger guys to go throw you out. <laughs> That's uh, my that, turn. Is that all you do? That's all I can do. I did it. Wait, no, that was. I get one more. Because a skill check is just one action, right? If I did, yeah, you got one more intimidation, action. demoralize. Okay, all right then. Um, I'm go going over, over here. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and bye. All right, Kasky goes. Venik, you are up. You got lucky, and they didn't touch you. Yeah, fifteen. Does that hit? It does not. Just miss. You like. Hit the uh, edge of that that cage and bullet ricochets off. All right, and I will reload and shoot again. Okay. Because what the hell? Uh, no, it's a two. That's two. not gonna hit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you shoot corn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't. Uh, yeah, your sights off or something. Who knows? <laughs> it's dark. I really need to like. <laughs> Fix the Life's sights there a little here. bit. <laughs> and this ground is too steady. Yeah, the... <laughs> I'm used. I'm used to used to Uh, Ophi. Ophi will what walk up here. What horrible thing are you gonna do now? He'll walk up here and he will try to do an intimidation, but he's gonna speak out in Draconic 
just drop your weapons and surrender. Make your roll. 20. Ooh, 20. Very good. Very good. We'll see what happens. Okay, and then he's going to use his last action to pull his dueling cape back over his shoulder and he gets bonus to his AC. All right. All right. So. In case it didn't work. Warrior bleeds out. And dies. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the bleeding killed him. Oh, jeez. He's like... Well, I, I could have had two hit a... points left, and he had two bleeding. I'm like, it doesn't really matter what they do. But yeah, it was fun. I I'll take that, that as he complied. Paddle, huh? Yeah, he complied. He sure did. He complied. That's All right, we drop out of combat. You have destroyed the cobalts. Very good. All right, there's a door up there. What's, what's this? This cage is locked here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were they trying to get at? Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, Spend some time. I'm gonna go around the room and loot. You got, you got these Especially boxes. the kobolds. Anything mm-hmm. in their pockets? Kobold loot boxes. What does the kobolds have in their pockets? Is? So as you as you look over the kobolds, uh, they look like they're carrying some dried fish. Right. Oh, fish. Found the thieves! They found it. the fish. <laughs> we gotta take. We gotta go tell this woman. Yeah, we'll we take it back. Them. Recovered inventory. So, clearly, they were involved, but. More fish are missing than can be explained by just these four cobalts. Uh, I thought this was the okay. It might just be their payment for the big job. There's a door here. Well, there is a and there's lock a st- steel cell. All right, I'm as you approach, it. let me uh, reveal the rest of the the room. Okay. Okay. Looks like we'll scroll down for people at home. Looks like there's a big box of stuff. Uh, maybe that's where all the fish is. Maybe stuck them in there. We can grab our fish and go, and we can just seal this door up, and that will be done. Um, all right. Could be. Let's. Well, who has they a were trying to get into it. Yeah. Good yeah. Does there seem to be Same. like um, there? <clears throat> they, obviously, there's underground cavern. Is there like a, a, a like another entrance down here? Or like, gotta how be. did they get here? You, there's got to be. I don't know entrance. yet. Because can I make a thievery check and try to pick the lock on this cage? You absolutely can. All right, there you go. You want to? Why don't you uh, first tumble through the cage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't get. And then pick your way back up. I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, Twenty three. No problem. Pop. Yeah, you get down there. Nice job, Benick. Wow, you've done that a few times, haven't you? Once or twice. So inside, allegedly, a pile of old crates and a few barrels. Uh, most of these contain uh, long spoiled food and stained cloth. Uh, but one of them buried b- deep belief. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, one of them contains a small pile of treasure. Ooh, I like this Ooh. one. That's my, I call that one. Uh, in, <laughs> uh, nothing in here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 200 silver pieces. Okay. There's Damn. a gold ring. Oh. And then a magnificent, beautiful short sword. Oh, another short mm-hmm. sword. There's a short sword fetish happening here. Yang. Ophi will take the ring and the short sword and, and use um, uh, his psychic sense to see if they're either of them are magic. The ring is not. However, the short sword does glow. Dips. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, were, you use a two-handed weapon anyway. Yeah, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> like... I want the, the short sword of, of, uh, of pl- plus one with a strike. Was it plus one striking? Yeah. No, it's just a plus one short sword. Well, I'll, you don't have to tell me tell that. Me. But I'll, I'll, I'll take, take yeah. I'll take the short sword plus one. That's plus one to attack and damage rolls. So, and I will use that. Um, I will have to use. I you know I don't know what it, if I, what I can do to switch my implement of my weapon. It doesn't say. Do I do I have to pick one at the beginning? I think it's just any implement you choose, any weapon you choose is your implement. We can look that up. Yeah, I'm, so it's okay. For defeating these cobalts, 80 experience points. 80. We are up to 200, guys. 
200 XP. We're crushing it. Fifth of the way to level two. That's right. All right. Uh, it is 930. Okay. Well, we can wrap so, uh, it up for tonight. We got, we went through we're, like, we're at a good spot actually. Yeah. We went through several rooms. Yeah. That's cool. That was fun. Uh, I, this, this map is kind of neat here. This, this intro, yeah, I, I'd, I'd actually, I'd actually seen the uh, room with the pulp, with the bowl, with the stomach. Cause uh, I, I'm a patron of uh, Ronald, Ronald the rules lawyer and he posts snippets of his stuff on his thing. So what does everybody think? Yeah. We're having fun so I'm far. It's good. I yeah. couldn't roll it's a, a bowling action. ball down a hill. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That, that rat, that first rat encounter, you're like, Oh, oh. oh my God. I thought, yeah. I thought Alan and I were going to die. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like, wait a minute. What? Let me let me stick my head in this hole. Uh, I wasn't. Well, so the thing is, I wasn't. I went over to the thing, and I was I wasn't expecting them to rush down that hole like right away. I was expecting was, to like you know sneak down the hall and see stuff. So you know, yeah. For a, for a first encounter, I was like, oh, there's gonna be like two things. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, they took both of us down to two hit points. Oh no. <laughs> They got lucky. They got lucky in their 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 first initial rolls were it's just brutal. Yeah. Okay. Well, it seems like they were almost critting us based on yeah. how you were talking about uh, it. <laughs> it was close. Yeah. yeah. There were a couple times when it was like it was like 19, 18, 19. I was like, oh <laughs> that happens. That's funny. Oh, yeah. But and they no, were this doing was like good. max damage. I mean, it was it was yeah. The other fights have been not too bad. Not too bad. No. I, I really do like our. I know it, how mismanaged it is. I love our party layout. It's very oh, funny. It's, it's, it's good. Compl- yeah, we're. I love the fact that we never, when we do these one shots or these small things, we never talk to each other. We just show up with that's, whatever. Government. Here's my character. Whatever I mean, government a, you happen to find. So. All right. Yeah. Well, so, uh, well, Graham got lucky. Got really lucky. <laughs> Because if they would have yeah, been flanked like that, being yeah. flanked like that by by sneak attack, they could have done some oh, yeah. serious oh. damage. But they all right. That I was as oh, bad well, as that... Flander in melee. <laughs> that charm would have worked. But I I actually have a I might have if I had been in in range, I might have been able to use a focus spell to make them weaker to a will save and then try the thing. Nice. I'm still figuring it out. Yeah, well, we're, like... we're, these are new characters. Everybody's playing a different class, and I haven't played. I didn't play the. the I picked the thaumaturge specific because I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. Cool. I just wanted to see some spells. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see everybody next week, um, and we'll we'll, we'll go and see how this. far. Looks like mm-hmm. I don't know how far. How are we half done with this adventure, or are we not quite? Okay, so we probably have a couple more than more than two weeks left still. That's fine. We'll we'll play this short adventure for a couple of weeks until and then we'll finish up Lost Minds. So sounds good. All right, we'll that talk to you guys later. It's back. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Okay. Till next time. Thanks later. for watching. Like, subscribe if we wind up like posting this or whatever. We will. We'll post it. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.